Good afternoon and welcome to Talk Sports. It's our weekend program where we speak to the movers and shakers of sports, the sportsmen, sportswomen, you know, coaches, administrators, just about everyone involved in sports. Well, good afternoon, wherever you are. And um, as indicated, we are a bit, well, not a bit, but we started our program one hour late. That's due to um, some circumstances and um, uh, probably for the next six weeks, will we have a sort of one hour delay, okay? But um, as indicated, we'll be looking at the curve to games and I don't want to waste too much time because we have so much to talk about. So let me go ahead and introduce my um, co-host, um, Rudian Sylvan, who is in Toronto. Um, I'm not too far from the Canadian border. I'm actually in North Dakota. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. North Dakota. Uh, yeah, you're pretty. Cl you're pretty close by. Right. Pretty close. In fact, yes. from Winnipeg. Right. Yes. 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 yes so how are so you doing? All is well. Um, like I said, um, pleasure and good evening to everyone. You know, the movers and shakers listening. Um, in the diaspora and those who are close by listening and i'm tuning in and giving your thoughts as well yeah well um quite a bit to talk about especially on the issue of the character games they just concluded just ended completed whatever you want to say character <laughs> games um at the kirani james mm -hmm. stadium and in and between we'll try to get some some feedback from some of the you know officials and others on you know what they thought about the curve to games in Grenada. Albeit there have been so much talk about the four by four really, you know, they but um we don't want that to define the, the curve to games and the true champions of the curve to games, the participants, right? They are all champions, right? You know, um, I was doing an interview in the week and they asked me who would I single out as probably standout, you know, most outstanding. And I told them that, and I, I really can't, eh? because there were so many outstanding performances, but in addition to that, there were athletes who did not, got onto the medal podium, but did their best. It was a personal best for them. So, you know, it's difficult. Yes, you may want to say a record breaker, someone who won the gold mm -hmm. medal, someone who probably won two medals, etc. But for me, it would have been, the, the and that's why I keep saying, the athletes themselves. One, to be selected to represent your country. Your country, yeah. yeah. I consider that to be um, a winner, <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, definitely. Yes, I consider you to be a winner, right? Yeah. Um, there's a young there's a young lady um, in the 100 meters from, I believe, um, would it be Antigua? Uh, I want to think it's Antigua. And for the past few years, she's been coming fourth and fifth, and she finally gets on the podium. It, it, the progression, you know, that yeah, she has yeah, to overcome, yeah, yeah. and then finally she made it on. Um, it's truly, truly um, what we're talking about right now. It's very hard to say who was that person because right. they all had their own, you know, individual achievements that they want to do, their own, you know, that they want to do. So truly, truly, it was an amazing. The athletes have really done amazing. Right. And and, and remember, as you say in there, um, some of the athletes uh, may have been selected and it mm -hmm. might be the only opportunity to participate opportunity. in the current games, right? Yeah. Some yeah. may have another opportunity or other opportunities, other, right? Other opportunities. So, to so it, depending, yeah. depending on where you are in the, in the, in the spectrum, you know, you, yeah. Yeah. you have to yeah. consider it as, as a, you know, an opportunity. But listen, um, I want to, and you know, in, in, in the Grenadian context, you know, there were, Athletes who went above and beyond. I mean, there's no question about that. There are those who went above and beyond. Um, there is one such athlete um, that, you know, his, his name 
will continue to ring a bell in the ears of a lot of people. His name is Timothy Greenwich. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, I didn't, you know. One of the things I realized he, is that when he saw the camera and he realized he was at the camera, he had to do something. I mean, come on. The, the, <laughs> the crowd is there with you. You yeah, understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Come on, you can't, you know. You, can, you, you have to do something. You have to do something. Yeah. As, as, as Mr. Ashby will say, you cannot be a slacker. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> you have to do something, you know. And um, that was, I thought, it really captivated, and, and that's why I'm seeing some thrilling moments, eh? you know, even though we will say, Rudy, and that all of them did their best, but there were some yeah. thrilling moments, no no question about that, okay? And I thought he was one who really, because, you know, going into the games, probably, probably, I would be probably the athlete and his coach may have been the ones who really knew the potential, the true potential, okay? Yeah, um, no, no, yeah Yes, no um taken away from that and you know most time you speak to the athletes they'll tell you well what the coach would have told them and you know the uh, you know the all about the confidence in in that confidence yeah 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 so um that is one of the things that we want to um talk about um in a moment but um rudian um from your perspective from where you have what you have seen let me hear you i i was uh I was very pleased um, with the games. Um, it was successful for Grenada. Um, I had, you know, friends who work in some of the villages who um, tell me, you know, everything went smooth. Um, and when it comes to the to the meet itself, it was a really, really positive um, environment. Um, you know, despite me looking at the you know the final race of the day, you know, there was a little you know, hiccups that could have done better, hoping that they'll do, do better in the future. But overall, um, overall, the, the, the games itself out of a, out of 10 um, will be an eight out of 10. For me, in my, in my perspective. All right, and be, 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 before you continue, why eight? I, I mean, just, you know, um, like uh, I said, um, there's a few there's a few hiccups that I've seen um, that you know, at, the, at the level of the sport, I don't think it should have happened. Um, I also would like to see more on a coaching aspect to um, to let the, to, to teach the athletes um, more of uh, a personal confidence aspect. Um, there's a few things I've seen that I think, you know, we, we, they have to take a, a drastic m a measure to to let the athletes understand the, the sports and their rights um, in the sport, um, how to stand for themselves. Um, and I think, you know, I've seen it with one of a few athletes and I think more athletes, you know, could have done the same thing. You know, like and it's across the region. It's not only one place across the region. Um, and you know, for example, um, watching in, in the jumps or the throws, that if it's if it is a fault, um, you there is cameras. You know, you could go and say, "Show show it to me." You have to have that 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 strong will to do that um, because it is we are, this meet is an international meet and it is under the I, the World Athletics, so it is big enough for you to yes, you have to be able to have the right, and we have to teach them the athletes like that. Um, that that's one that aspect I would like to see more of that more coaches saying, hey, if they say it's a fault, let them show it to you. You know, don't just say, okay, don't accept it. Let them show it to you. So on that aspect, um definitely is um then you know the hiccup in the end. And then there's another incident that happened in the long jump as well. I think at that level it shouldn't happen. Um and that was my um my, that that's way my the, the last the the, the two percent from out of the ten percent. Yeah. Okay, then. so yeah, well, fair enough, and um, I understand, and um, you know, that's why we would like to hear the various perspectives. And um, you know, listen, I've covered and attended not as many as um, Esther Maynard, who you'll hear from later on. Um, she has covered, she has attended all but four. <laughs> um, Character games. I've covered a lot of character games, you know. Yeah. Um, Colin Peters will tell you when he was 
at the character games. I was a, a reporter. <laughs> That's to tell you how long I've been involved with that. But um, by standards, I, I thought, you know, 2016, if I want to, and, and I want to compare probably 2000, 2016 to 2024, yes, there have been some improvements, but I think, you know, a lot more could have been done. And that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, in general. One of the things, though, I was disappointed overall with, though, had to do not so much with the character games itself or the technical aspect of the games itself. But I thought we missed an opportunity at the character games to continue showcasing the island of Grenada. Remember, it's still 50th anniversary of independence, right? Yeah. And I don't know if there was so much expectation based on what we had on February 7th or leading up to February 7th yeah. that yeah. it fell below. And therefore, yeah. you know, uh, but, but it was an opportunity because uh, there were so many people who were in town and who should have really gotten a taste of, listen, you could have taken yeah. independence wholesale yeah. and bring Bring it currency. into this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now there's a the the the, 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 the the commentator made a said some and that's and I'm and I'm going based on the commentator. This is not what me. He said that you know um Ms. Vida Bruno mentioned that it was sold out. Um he said it came from my mouth. He said I heard she said it. it's sold out. But he said based on what he's looking at, it hasn't. You know, the stand is still open. And I like I said, I'm just I'm just yeah. doing based on what he said. And right. I and I said to myself, I had a conversation with someone, I said, oh, maybe it was sold out. Maybe the people yeah. just never showed up on time. That so that, that was my comment to the person no, you know, when I have a conversation with somebody, yeah. right? So I said, maybe it was sold out, maybe she wasn't wrong, but maybe the yeah. people didn't show up at, at the time or they just didn't show up, you know? Yeah. Right. So um I think you 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 are right with assessment because yes, and she said that I was sitting at the press conference when the, the, the announcement was made. And um, it happened that probably people just didn't show up, yeah. right? So don't just look at what you see in there. The they, um, tickets were actually sold, right? Yeah. There were a number of issues, logistical in terms of transportation. We really know it's a holiday weekend. And yeah, um, yeah. many people are the mercies of the private bus owners, et cetera, et cetera. However, on the final day, you would have seen probably a little improvement, etc. In fact, there were people who were at the stadium on the final day to purchase tickets. They did not have tickets. However, they were waiting outside for a while because they were hoping, well, not hoping, but they were allowing those who had tickets to enter. Yeah. Then they will look and see if you have seats. That so they were coming around. At one point in time, I saw them going around and. Um, is anyone sitting here? Anyone? You have, are, are you aware of anyone occupying the seat? And they'll say no, or they'll say yes, whatever it is. And then they will get people to, um, to come to in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. there were people who wanted to buy tickets. Mm -hmm. Take you know, care. And um, for some reason, and I'm talking about the main pavilion in particular, the main pavilion. Yeah. Um, and then there was the issue of, you know, people bought tickets, but did not occupy a seat. Occupy the seat. Yeah. yeah, they were standing, even though in the first day they were kind of yeah. asking people to please take your seat, you know. But there were a lot of people standing. You go to the bars and thing, and there were yeah, people but people, standing. yeah, and, and, and you know, and I don't think most people will do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, that. Yeah, that, that is a, so. When you look at that too, is that yeah. you can't look at the stands and just get it and just because, judge based yeah, on the stand. Yeah, you know, people who had tickets and decided, hey, you they know, just, they want to stand I, up. Yeah. yeah actually, Action for me is on the, the, the second yeah. level where yeah. I can get a drink and et cetera, et cetera. Um, we'll come back to some assessment in a moment yeah, because I want to play you something first and then I will go into a discussion. All right. I will just let it go um, yeah. and then um, I will um, get with a discussion. I think he will introduce his name. If he doesn't, then we'll come back and, and, and you know, I talk about <laughs> Okay. Timothy, a uh, silver medal in the on the 20 boys high jump. You cleared over 2.5 2. meters. Um, speak to us about that particular jump and how do you feel about this achievement? Well, I feel very good because I know I work hard for it and I pray for it also. So yeah, I deserve this. And going into the competition, 
I wasn't very nervous, but I know there will be competition. And so, so said, so done. And I make myself happy, and hopefully my team and the whole of Guinea. Is that your personal best? Yes. So, 205 is my new personal best. And I just want to thank my coach and my family members, my friends, and everybody. The whole of Guinea. Thank you very much. Is this your first character? Yes, this is my first character. So how do you feel it's your first character and yeah. to be actually meddling because character is the best of the best youth athletes in the region? Yeah. So I feel extremely happy. I must say congratulations to myself again because as, as I say, I work for this. How important do you see discipline in sport? Well, discipline is very important because you may not be the best in some aspects, but once you have discipline, you'll make it very far. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Rudian, I, I wanted to play that here eh, because it's so important to what he said there. You know, yeah. a young man, and he seems that if he's well focused and he, he spoke about discipline, and he seems as if he's well disciplined too, you know. Um, and he, 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 gave, he gave credit to his coach, but he also gave credit to being disciplined, you know. Let me welcome his coach. I have his coach on um, line. His name is Nicholas Benjamin. Nicholas, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Michael. Right. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. So... The folks, those of you who just looked at that, that is Timothy Greenwich. High jump, right? A high jumper. That's the one who came on and, I mean, if you were following the high jump for those, especially those who were in the stadium, um, yeah. you would have seen him. They had him on the big screen and he was doing the flips and et cetera, et cetera. Nick, let's, let's speak a bit about um, Timmy because um, from what I... Got a Timmy would have um qualify. Um, but I know World Juniors in his sight, right? World right, Junior yes. Championship yes, on his yes, side. Yes. So let's well, talk uh, a bit about Timothy. Right. Well, previous to uh to the, the character games, um we participated in the intercall games, and um his biggest jump at the intercall games was one one nine eight. Um we left there with that personal best. However, uh I, I I I listen to him and when you speak about uh, but um my discipline, he's a very disciplined athlete, right? Very disciplined, very focused. Uh he knows exactly what he wants and great personality. Um to me that is one of the best athletes to work with because when you come outside there, whatever is your plan for the day, he makes shows and complete that plans, right? Um now during the intercall, I I we, we sat we look at the jumps and we realize that the, the what was holding him back was um tired legs. You see, from going from wrong to wrong to wrong, obviously the legs will get tired. I I I so when we went back to the lab, when I call training session the lab, and guys where you go and you make things happen, right? So when we went back to the lab, uh we went back into some some more plyo, plyometric drills. Um, however, that would increase his jumping skills and increase his strength in the leg. Now, our technique going into the character was don't waste the jumps. Don't get those legs weary. People was wondering what is happening to the Grenadian athlete that was just sitting there and just going through the um, the rungs. Timothy actually started jumping at one um one nine five, which is just three three centimeters off of his personal best. And when people saw him clear that, they realized, nah, that man ready to jump today. And, and 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 I think he has it in him that you know what, I can do this. I can do this. Um he went on to get in his personal best, um two zero five and the the junior the junior world games, I think um the qualifying is one uh two thirteen. And I, I, I'm thinking that we are going behind that because I'm seeing the clearance. If you look at the video, Timothy has a lot more to go. A lot more to go. So with that power in the legs, and and, and this is this is what we're doing in the lab right now. We are looking forward to um getting him qualified for the world juniors. Um and I think I think he, he will be on his way. What steps are you have in terms of um getting him to the standard in terms of meets in the region or international? Well, um what what we we're looking at, we're looking at we're going through Mike um 
Mike Batis. Mike Batis is looking at some meat for us there now. Uh, I think he told me he want to get back to me, but we are looking to see what we can get him to do prior to prior to uh, qualifying. Okay. Um, a little more on Timothy, yeah, because yes, you spoke about you know the intercall, etc. But for quite a lot of people, um, and especially those in the stadium as well, uh, it was like sensational because it's like you know where this athlete came from, and I'm saying that for those who are not really too keen on you know the the intrigues of track and field, because once you're probably not a sprinter, you're on the track, you don't right. get the kind of attention, you right. know? Right, and, right. Uh, so give us a little background on him. No, no, Timothy, um, he participated at the Intercall last year too, and um, he placed second in the high jump. However, um, his best event last year was the, the triple jump and the long jump. So what we did, what we did this year is we tried to capitalize on the distance in the, um, in the triple and the long. So we left the we left the high jump, we left the high jump prior to the intercall games. Now uh, the national championship we didn't do any high jump. He didn't participate in the high jump in the um, national championship. We only did the triple and the long because we was looking to see if we could get at least a seven meters in the um in the long jump and fifteen in the in the triple jump. However, that didn't go our way. That didn't go our way um, due to some of the facilities for training. And um, we just say, you know what? Let us let us go back and push the um, the, the the high jump because the high jump was there. It, 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 that is instilled in Timothy. He he loved the jumping. He loved the high jump. So so we just what we did is we tried to to convert the three jumps and put them into one probably and try to get him to excel in the the high, the long, and the triple. However, the long and the trip the long and the triple didn't work out. So we pushed everything into the high. So as I tell you, last year he played second in the um, in the high. Uh, this year, this year he um, he captured the goal, and we just can keep pushing it from there. And we got to two or five. And I'm thinking, and the thing, funny enough, is it's happening very fast. Eh? It's happening very fast. Because if you if you if you look at the time span from from intercall to national champion to to the um, the character games, it was just a mere two weeks. You were just having two weeks, so it, it is happening fast. So, to see what five, to yes, mm -hmm. grenade. Five. And Michael, if you look, if you look at the video, because I take my time. This, this, this is the area where you don't just do things. This is the area where you use video technology. You look at the video and you take your time and look at how much clearance he has. You have a lot of clearance more to go. Timothy has a lot more to go. So we're looking to see if we can get that. Um, yeah. At two one four yeah. two one five. Yeah, well, um, certainly um, Timothy became a sensation. He became the darling of um, <laughs> you know of um, the, the 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 spectators. You know, I think at one point in time, um, Grenadians just became all part of it. You know, there was just yeah, yeah. the entire <laughs> attention, and, uh, and it was. Also yeah, because the attention at that time, I and mean, even on, on the on the big screen, you know, mm -hmm. um, it was where um, all the attention was. Well, um, yes. Whoa. Um, Hazel is saying he can definitely clear two fifty now, and I guess yeah. as much what you're seeing there, based on the technique yeah. and mm -hmm. the sort of clearance he had there, mm -hmm. that. He has that, and um, you know, um, it, it, it's interesting because I'm looking at um, some of the comments there, and someone like um, uh, Merriman, showing Merriman, as you know, is a, a high jumper himself. Yes. You know, yes, he has great potential. Potential. Uh -huh. like just looking at him, looking at the technique, looking at the flip, everything like that. So you can see, is a guy that has that potential to get it. And as yeah. you were telling Rudian, you believe. That he will um, make the um, the standard, right? Yes, 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 yes. I think these uh, when you're going into when you're going into the championships, you don't go in uh, like thinking, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe. You go 100 percent at it. If it don't happen, mm -hmm. then it don't happen. But you don't go in halfway. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and I try to instill that into all those athletes too. We don't go halfway. We go we go hard into it. If it don't happen, then probably it don't happen, you know. But we don't go in thinking, you know what? Maybe I can't do this, or maybe I can't do that. I think that's the best way to go. Is you go hard. Some it happens to a lot of people. You go hard, and it just don't happen. Maybe not this year, but probably, you know, with your with your um, with the discipline into it, it gonna happen. Nick, who are some of the other athletes you will um, you will single out as a coach? You will single out for commendation. Um. 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 Uh, Alice, uh, uh, um, Brown, uh, That's she ran Anna. a fantastic, she ran a fantastic 800. Annalisa uh, Brown. Annalisa yeah. Brown. Annalisa, um, um, Sylvester, Josh. Yeah, Josh. Man, Sylvester. that man, that man yeah. made tears come from my heart, come from my eyes, my heart hurts. And, and you just, I, and you see, I will tell you why too with Josh, huh? I, 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 um, I just, Went head on head against the St. Andrews Anglican Secondary. <laughs> right? I just went head on head against them. And Josh was one of the guys that had me, you know, had me up inside there too. So seeing him now, not on not on the um the SAS team, I should say, seeing him on the Grenada team, which is all of us team. And yeah. he just wants you to get that stick to him. And he's gonna do the rest. That right. that speaks volume. That's speaks volume because I was telling somebody the other day, I said, listen, driving over the hills or even from St. David's End, when you hit St. Andrews, there should be a board mm-hmm. standing right there with that yeah. little guy's name on it. Mm-hmm. From both directions. That little guy, that little guy stood out for Grenada. All the other athletes stood out, but that little guy stood out. It, the, the, um, the four by four, I, I recall the four by four, that man, the, the, um, that photo that was, uh, that was streaming we take on peter king and um yeah, yeah and, i can't remember this yeah, yeah and holding yeah. on yes Ferguson, and yeah, and yeah. holding on to, and holding on to him man yeah. that that picture they speak volume because i know how he felt we yeah. all know how he felt we all know how he felt yeah but i also i also commented under the picture that i know how he felt we all know how he felt but the tr- the two guys that are holding him up know that part of the motto is the game is its own reward yeah so we regroup that, so we yeah. regroup and we come hard again that was you two know? gbss guys holding up a sad guy, guys right? holding up the sad no. guy you say that all along that after intercall is all about grenada right yeah. yes and, uh, uh, it was interesting too because here you as a gbss coach singling out this guy from sars as you say yeah. you just mentioned by the way from SARS, yes. but he represented grenada he and, represented uh, grenada you know he did i mean there was also was it green um yes. you know there yes. were a couple of athletes there there, were a couple that, of a couple, couple of them, them did very well. Very well. Yeah. Very well. The, the, the good thing about the games was all the Grenadian, well, well, 90, 95% of the Grenadian athletes went out there and they gave personal best. So that day alone is a plus. That day alone is a hundred for us. You know, that day alone is a hundred for us. And, and, and people maybe, well, with me and you spoke a couple of times already and people may be figuring, you know, what, it's GBSS coach and, 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 and that's a SAS, but they don't realize the love they have for that school. I have right. real love for that school up in the St. Andrews area because I always say that school, St. Andrews and the Kent St. Mary School, is what made me the great coach that I am. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I have the work to be them. If I right. don't work, they'll beat me. They'll, Sash will beat me bad. Sash will beat mm-hmm. you bad if you don't work. Yeah. You know, if you don't work. And just the same way, if they don't work, we will be there bad. So we have to. But then when we come together, when we come together now, as a Grenada team, we work along, we work alongside one another and we have to make sure that hey, we represent our island well. And this is hats off to him. Hats yeah. off to him. Yeah, I, I, I thought um, you know, the, the, the you know, even after Intercall how the team gel, and one of the things I will and, and even with when you look at boys and girls champs in Jamaica. When they finish boys and girl champs with all the hype with you know um Kingston College, Jamaica College, whatever is Jamaica. Everybody. Yeah, yeah is yeah. Jamaica. Same thing mm-hmm. with Grenada, too, right? Mm-hmm. But one of the things, Nick, is that the lack of competition. 
Because here you're saying too that there is a possibility of um, Timothy. Timothy qualifying and others too. Eh? You mentioned others who are on yeah. the brink of qualification. But the lack of competition. Mind you, hmm? the Jamaicans are returning home and I have an interview with the, the, one of the coaches and he was basically outlining the, the program for some of these athletes, including pen relays, for example. Right. Right. So they know they have a program basically that prepare them for, for World those Juniors things. and et cetera, et cetera. And mm -hmm. even those who are not going to pen relays, almost every weekend, there's a championship, championship. In, in Jamaica, yeah. East, West, yeah. somewhere or the other. You know, yeah. what's about um, Grenada? I mean, what are your concerns that you probably only we have well, um, relay and then the, the, the um, Whitsundive games? Well, no, I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking that um, the general public, as well as the the um, the administrations in charge of athletics here in Grenada, um, has seen the interest and has seen the the development of athletes right here in Grenada, and they have seen the um, the devotion of young coaches as myself, and they're seeing what we we are producing, and um, I think no, it it it, it they, they, they um. The future of athletics is laid in their hands. They need now to to produce probably or, or create avenues where even as now we we, we we have avenues where we could um, uh, qualify our athletes to these um these these international meets because we are seeing now that it, the the competition is totally not enough. But um, if I may add on that. You know, it's been the same way for many years. What really have to change? You know, Grenada have lost a lot of wonderful, um, great athletes um, who could have been um, on the world stage um, and it's never been anything. It's the same thing year after year after year. And what difference, well, what difference does it have to make for them to see that? Because it's the same thing. So what, what, different, what, what do they have to do different? Or what, what does the, 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 the massive, what do the people have to do to, to let them see that? Because not only for the games now after intercall or after intercall um, or after character games, it's also schools. Yes. There is no yes. in schools as well. Yes. So what it is different that have to change? I mean, I have an idea, you know, um, but on, on your point of view, what do you think different that has to make the difference so that the athletes can be performing instead of then we have to fly we have to have meets where the other regions can come in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you understand it's not necessarily saying that you have to go within you have to go over to to the us you know and, and get a suit and you can't just go for one meet now if you go over there with timothy you cannot stay there for a week you have exactly. to get there for at least two at least six weeks so that yep. you can get to meet because it, as, easy, as easy as you said um the 12 uh, the the 215 you know is in his reach it's still hard you know it, it may not happen the first time or the second time you know so it, so you have to be able to look and then you have to can say you're going to every meet you have to have a plan because then yeah. Yeah. you know you don't want him to hurt himself right so yeah. in, in your views what do you think the, the ministry of sports or athletics have to do um to to see that happen in your point of view well well um Rudy and I, I've been around. I've been around the, the system for for years. I was an athlete in school myself, and and um, being honest, is, is the, the problem is what has not been changed is what is creating the problem. Yeah. And we and every year we are seeing the uh, athletes performing at a better level, and then nothing still happened. Um, there are some guys that that came from uh, Saint Andrews that Mister. Uh, um, Mr. Max Sween been working along with, um, and these guys are running perfect 400 timings outside. And the facility here, we only have the one, the, the National Stadium as the main facility. So we have we have outside playing fields, which is not too conducive to, to, to do what you have to do. And then when you um when you try to get a session in the National Stadium, which is which is the best area to develop your athlete. They're going to come with a charge. You're going to come with, with the person who's in charge. Maybe don't like you and they don't want you to use it, but they will have somebody else use it. So there is a lot of, well, I should say, politics in terms of 
what is happening here in Grenada. Well, so the, 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 the authorities, the authorities too, what I realized about the authorities for, uh, from a couple of years ago is once you are the person who's going to say, listen, this what you're doing is wrong, what you're going to get is you're going to get a big exclusive name, blacklist you. You understand? So, so sometimes you're seeing the things happening, and and then and, and, and what I'm gonna do, what I do deep right now is I say it might benefit me, but it's gonna benefit the athletes and it'll benefit other coaches, right? Now, no, no, a lot of people in the system need to leave the system alone, right? It have young up, it have young people who is who is vibrant and and want to make it happen and could make it happen, but. They would not let go the positions for these vibrant people because there is, I don't know, it's like a, a, a nest. You know, you need to be there. Uh, um, Grenada has Grenada has couple level five coaches. However, I am not a level five coach, and I could, I, I when I tell you, I rate myself. People say you must rate yourself, but I rate myself because I know what I could do. Mm -hmm. Now I would bring athletes up to a level, and then. People be like, what? What should I have? And then you'll see some coach from somewhere else who come and say, you know what? Give me that man. Why don't we, and and funny enough, is right here on the island, we have qualified IAF um, um, tutors right here in Grenada who goes and teach, <laughs> yeah? Goes and teach IAF coaches, level one, two, three, four, and five, right here in Grenada. And then you tell me, you know what? You see a little athlete running in Grenada and he's running a good time, he's throwing a good time, he's jumping a good time. You see, you know what? Let him go to Jamaica. Why don't those same tutors call sessions with the, the Grenadian coaches and lift the coach instead of tra instead of traveling, taking the athlete away from Grenada? Teach the coaches. If you know what to do, then teach the coaches what to do. So the coaches will work along with more people. Then the coaches bring up one person and say, you know what? That man reached a certain level. Send him to Jamaica and Jamaicans will do the rest. I'm not Jamaica have a very good program because we see the results of the athletes. We see the results. However, I think I think we could do it here too. We could do it here too. But we need probably we need a little more. And who who the people that has the knowledge to give it a little more? Don't want to give it a little more because they want to be the one hanging on to the knowledge. And that's simple. That's what happens here in Grenada. And most definitely. I, mean, I think sometimes the environment have to also change. The environment of the sport itself. Um, mm -hmm. the, the difference when you see sport, the sport and discipline in, 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 in the UK, um, you see cricket in India, you see cricket in Australia, you see track and field, football, soccer, um, basketball in the United States. The environment have to change. Um, mm -hmm. And these are people that 24 seven, this is not a season thing for them, you know? Um, and, I, and I think the environment that has to change because there is a season with us uh, as Grenadian. Um, I mean, I, like I said, since I've been there, it's a season, track and field season come around, everybody's running. Netball, everybody playing netball, basketball. And it's track and field people. Them. And it's the same yeah. thing. So we have to have, so we have to have the environment have to change and that mindset have to change where it's 24 seven. It's not, it, it, it's all year round. It's not only when the season come around. Yep. So I think once that change, then you're going to see that. And then why not go to Jamaica? They, because they did not necessarily the program, they, they, they're competing. They're they are com competing. Um, yep. And they don't, and, and it's not nothing to do with because they have a track across mm -hmm. Jamaica, they have grass. Mm -hmm. They have grass the exact same way as we have in Grenada. Mm -hmm. And they probably have two, two national tracks or maybe just one. We, and it's the same thing. And that goes for everywhere. Barbados didn't have a track this year. They did but, not. The track was being re resurfaced. So no, there's no. a lot of things that can be done. So it's not just like saying, oh, you know, so we also have to change that, that as well so that they can see that this is how serious we are. So, yes, yeah. we put the pressure on them. Yes, we want to see the government. And, and by far, yes, they have a, a high percentage to say, yes, they have a responsibility. But we also have to say, this is what we want to do we and want prove to do. ourselves. We have to show that to ourselves. And then once we get there, then we might see a difference. All right. Let's, um, there, there are a couple of comments that came in there. And um, some of them, uh, well, one, um mr edwards is asking coach what's your opinion of the last race um we'll get back to that in a moment <laughs> i know quite a bit um uh <clears throat> kevin is saying we need more meets at home 
um, Quincy Jones, exactly. Lack of competition in Grenada. Now that Carifta is over, our athletes have to wait for months before they can compete again. Again, um, uh, there is also uh, Patricia Noel is saying, Bascom, these things could happen if only we all unite. There is too much separation with coaches and, uh, and uh, you know and those in charge. Um, I think yep. that's something that have been you know regurgitated but mainly by a few. If we have more of a coach speaking out like you, make and say it as it is, then, mm-hmm. and as Patricia is saying, if coaches unite and unite for a cause, then probably, but then you have people pulling one way and pulling the other way. So then that's the thing about it. Some people are speaking out, others are mm-hmm. quiet and, you know, and, um, and saying, well, I don't know what he's talking about or I don't yeah, agree. Yeah, you, know? you don't have to agree with what he's saying, but if it's true, true. then it's true. You understand? Yeah. Um, I think um, Quincy is saying, I think the clubs need to get involved and host invitational meets to have an extended track and field season in Grenada, uh, schedule in Grenada. That's so, a good point. Great point, Rudy and Silva. And the strategy is build up, build him up and get him ready to compete so he can uh, qualify. Um, mm-hmm. What now happens to this group of character athletes? Will there be ongoing training nationally for them? Um that's another thing we're not sure on. Well, that's for the Athletic Association to determine. We need to equip the schools with coaches to run their own programs. Our high school system is broken. That is not so secret reason to Jamaica's success. Um, and Nicole is saying, thanks, coach. Make room for new blood. Um, the only problem I have with the, the, the new blood eh, is that... And I have I, a problem I, with it, too. Yeah. Is, is a commitment. Right? The comment. People, listen, I am all for transition, but you need people who are committed. Committed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Committed for the for the cause. Because you don't want to say, hey, time for these people to go. And then they're not. And you don't have a, if yes, yes, yeah. yes. And, and, and it also means that the folks who are in charge must understand that there must be a transition period. Right? A transition period meaning that at some point in time, there must be people who are understudying, who are ready to take up the mantle, right? Um, you know, and well, no, I don't want to go into much. <laughs> but Michael, they also they also have to they also have to see you. Um, you know, when you are when you're in any company, they they, they boss they they see you. They see your performance. They say, yeah, you're ready for the next level. The administration have to also see you in action. They have to see the, 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 what you want to do. A lot of the young people are here today and they're not here tomorrow. They're here the next day. But they, you have to be there. You have to be there. You got to grind. You got to grind. Here is the Yes, we talk about commitment, right? And commitment meaning that you have to be. But you have as, to be committed. Mm-hmm. As, as Nicholas is saying, that yes, the moment time you make yourself available and you're being seen or you're, you're doing yeah. what you're supposed to do, there are those who say, nah, boy. Um, nah, not you. Yeah, not you. You know, let me yeah. call that down. You know, that, that's a problem. So it's, yeah. it's a lot of things, the mindset and, and as well, I got from what Nick said. Yeah, he didn't yeah. Say exactly yeah. And, 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 yeah. and the next thing, the, next, like the next thing stuff. about, the next thing about it is too, the next thing about it is too, the majority of the coaches in Grenada, even those who were the club, do the training for free. I can tell you that. Do the training. The majority of the kids that come, they're coming there for free because their parents can't really handle, right? No, no, no. Also, some of the coaches are family men and family women. And you have to you have to prepare for your family. So you can just keep on taking that free time and work along with kids and developing kids. And the, the persons who in authority you want to just sit back and just watch you and expect for you to just give committed time. A lot yeah, of changes yeah. have to make. Uh, there's a lot of changes have to make. Um, it's, it's the second time I said that after character games um, like this, that they have to have a character committee that sit back and, and go back just for the character athletes. Um, there's also a committee that which they probably have a sit back and said, Where do we go with track and field? Where do we go with mm-hmm. athletics in Grenada? And, and I think that's a conversation is probably there, but um, but maybe you know, the 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 massive of the people is not hearing it. Um, how, how do we get it out there? How do we how, 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 how the word go out to say that they are serious? And, and I, 
there, there is a lot. There is a lot, and we hope change come. And that the let's only this problem, we hope change come. The only yeah. problem, the only problem, Rudian, is that what happens if Grenada did not host the character games? Will we will we be having that sort of conversation? The same conversation? A lot of talent. I, 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 can be, a lot I saw of the talent that we have hidden. I but saw a lot of talent that we saw. Thing. A yeah. lot of talent that we saw in that recent character would have been hidden because a lot of them would not have gotten the chance to travel wherever the, the games would have been yeah. and it's, a lot of them a lot of it would have been well, hidden. Well, it's yeah, a lot, a lot, yeah. a lot hasn't get the opportunity to represent grenada over the past 50 years oh, yeah. who yes who yeah. would have medal, medal at, at the character games it's interesting yeah. you said that because in listening to the interview with the president of the Jamaica Athletic Association, Administrative Athletic Association, Mr. Garth Gale, he was saying that there were about probably almost 50 athletes. He said, yeah, about 30 to 50 athletes who did not make the Kerfta team and could have easily come here to, well, to Grenada in reference and win medals. Mm -hmm. He was speaking how competitive it is. In fact, it is harder to get on to the Jamaica Carifta team than to get on to the Jamaica national team for Olympics or world champs. That's how competitive it is. He was mm -hmm. outlining. He, was, he went as far as saying, which I assume that people like you and others may agree, although he noted the economic situation of some countries, he said, listen, mm -hmm. It's time now for the character games move to the stage where it's open <laughs> in that instead of countries having a, a, um, a, a restriction on how many athletes they can carry, once if you can carry 70, 90, 110, carry the carry them. Because he sees it as a developmental pro right. program. Developing talent. And, and yeah. as you said, Nick, these athletes who got an opportunity in Grenada may not have and may not even get an opportunity next year next Trinidad. year because they're going to Trinidad. because of course <laughs> because they will say hey you know air yep. accommodation yeah yep. 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 right? even, even though you can take a boat to Trinidad but, but, but let's do yeah, that <laughs> but, but I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking based on the um based on the performances Performance of the athletes this year, this yeah. year I would believe that even if the next year next year comes, I would believe that um, even private business entities would be on board to help these athletes go outside there. Because these athletes, listen, really lifted the Grenadian bros. And, 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 and I can tell you, we are all proud of the participation of our athletes in the stadium. So I, 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 I can't see it. I can't see it. I can't see it going downhill from now from, from no on. I really, I really can't. I'm gonna ask you a question as what Barbados does to make the, the, the selection. Should Grenada go to a two part selection process? Meaning having two championships. Barbados have two championships and everybody usually, must be there. Right. You know, it doesn't usually, matter who you are, you must be there. Usually, um usually we do we do the um, the mini meets. Usually we do the mini meets. Uh, we pre the we pre select from the mini meets, and we use the the national championship, which is which is after the mini meets, and still we use the intercall, which is the last little before the, the final selection of the um of the character team. But we usually use the mini meets and the um and the national championship, and merely the intercall. Okay. Yes. Um, so, so there are some other um, comments that came in um, that I wanted to look at. Um, I think the clubs need to get involved in, well, yeah, we had this one already. One already. Um, yeah. yeah, there's another one here. Uh, you said I one already? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Show yeah. Show show was saying, you can use the recent success of the character team and put the pressure in the power to be to make sure that there is more competition available to the athlete and also have them give the athletes access to the stadium to practice, right? Mm -hmm. um, Mike Batiste, personal is policy. Some folks need to go so the sports can grow. Mm -hmm. That is, um, that's a slogan, that's a slam, <laughs> you know. Um, <clears throat> Liz Forsyth is saying, give our athletes excellent quarters in which to abide throughout the event. 
Um, um, well said, Nick. Um, we have so many good quarter milers. No, this is an area I think that um, we should really, you know, Kevin is saying, Michael Bascom, you need to have a call in segment on this topic because many people got a lot to say. I know quite a lot to say. Um, Nick, about the quarter milers. Mm -hmm. because, you know, we, we see some, you know, 47 um, 46. You know, and 46, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which to me is very encouraging. And I said 47, especially for the age, you know, the um, the under 17 and, you know, things like that. So, but wouldn't you say that is encouraging for Grenada in, yeah. in note, noting the transition we have coming up with possibly Kirani, most likely in his final Olympic Games? Yes, yes. Well, well um, this is the same reason why I told you uh, I, I mentioned Coach Maxwin, Coach Maxwin from um, 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 St Andrews. Uh, he has some guys. He has some guys there that 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 in, is not bad at all. The majority of them is in the, the forty six range, right? Um, Jared Jared Sylvester just recently ran a, a nice time. I think it's forty five something too. Uh, we have Kamali Felix outside there that is doing good too, and. Um, and, and Sylvester is there. Um, no, no, no. The Grenada sensation right now is uh, Cameron Marshall, right? At, at his age, at his age. No. Hold on, hold on. I need to Lee come Coffee. back. I need to come back on camera to say to, um to agree with you on that one. Yes, that's the um, Grenada sensation, Cameron Marshall. Is... Cameron Martin. That Cameron Martin. That's the Grenadian water mile sensation. However, um. He he he. The, his timing uh, last year was fifty two something. Uh, Mr. Coffey brought him down to to fifty fifty point. Uh, he brought him to uh, forty nine point, and from forty nine, the guy ended up to forty seven. <laughs> you know, so things is happening there. Um, Lee is doing his part. Uh, Mr. Max and other coaches doing his part. Um, not mention not forgetting to mention Mr. Albert Joseph. Albert Albert is producing at least and dropping times too. So 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 there is definitely something is good going here for later in terms of the, um, the quarter milers. And um, as we were saying concerning Kirani and his last and his last, I think. I've been saying that a long time ago. We have sufficient people. You know what we need? We just need a taste. Or at least just need a taste. Just send the first bunch of guys outside it to taste what the 4 by 4 is. And you see other, other athletes in the back looking to taste it too. So everybody else is going to work. But if we don't get a start, <laughs> if we don't get a start, <laughs> but if we don't get a start, we will never, we will never ever get a start. So we need a start. It's just a start everybody else needed. Everybody needs a start. Just a start. So you, the minute time you send the first team, everybody else is in the back here looking to see what happens. And everybody would want to be, all of quarter milers would want to be on that team. So they would work hard to be on that team. Because based on the based on the performance of the artists here and the character, I could tell you, come Monday when school open, we'll be we, we have a problem with we, we, we might have to say, well, listen. Uh, we can't take more of these athletes here because I can tell you, you're going to have our old pro athletes, young kids who saw these bigger ones perform. They're going to come out because they want to do it just like them. <laughs> yeah. is, this is exactly what is going to happen. You know? All the playing fields in Grenada is going to pull come Monday this week. I, I will take a picture and send it. Roger, I've got to say, there's Whitsuntide games to come. Well, yeah, Whitsuntide weekend. We really need to cooperate. We need corporate Grenada to step up in terms of funding for meets locally and regionally. We also need coaches to see the development of athletes towards international levels of performance, both in attitude and performance. Um, Rudy and um, Showing says, Rudy and Sylvan, you cannot see anyone's ability unless you give them a chance to showcase, showcase that talent. their, their talents. Excellent. He says, Bascom knows that for he had been in the sports for a very long time. 2000 Karifta was a great performance with a lot of promises and little was done. So it's been going on for years because mm -hmm. you, can see, you, you saw the same thing in 2000. Then you mm -hmm. saw it in 2016 at home. And then here is 2024. Again. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we don't see what happened after 2000 
and after 2016 happened again, you know, um, I think um, the public is wiser now and people will be, you know, calling mm -hmm. for um, the authorities to do something. Um, Hazel is saying uh, we need to start fundraising now for Carifta next year. Um, I think what is important, um, planning for Carifta 2025 should be starting now. Yeah, that should have started. In fact, listening to the president of the Trinidad and Tobago, the National Association of Athletics in Trinidad and Tobago, he was at that press briefing too, and he was given an update, basically. And he was talking about that particular weekend for character games. So folks, if you're listening and you have plans to go to Trinidad and Tobago for character 2025, reach out to your family members in Trinidad and let them know early. Because why? On that same weekend, the swimming championships, the character swimming, which is, which is character aquatics, they call it, will be staged in Trinidad. There's also the cycling championships. So mm -hmm. he already noted a, a challenge in terms of um, seats availability with the airlines and accommodation. The good thing about Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago is that yeah, every, one. every Grenadian has a Trinidad family yeah. member. You know, it's like a lot of the treaties came here and few of them were in hotels. Everybody yeah. was by some cousin or somebody, you understand? Yeah, it was by some cousin or something, you know? So that's the good thing about it. But to be honest with you, you have to start planning because, you know, at one point in time, I thought the foreign contingents will outnumber the Grenadians at the stadium because mind you, you see Bahamas, you see Jamaica and you see Trinidad, well, especially because of the proximity this time around, Trinidad had a very large contingent. In fact, when I arrived in Grenada on Thursday, I arrived in time when a tr the Trini posse was waiting for the Trinidad and Tobago team to arrive. So that's how I captured some of the, you know, um, thing on the airport. But here in this situation with the Bahamas, there is a, there is a saying that if there's track and field on the moon, the Bahamas will be there. Will be on the they had, they had, they had, they had charter flights, right? One was for the team and the officials, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the other charter was for spectators and others. And these people would have basically make their make their arrangements, um, probably a year in advance. As a matter of fact. When it was announced that Grenada was host of the um, Carifta Games after the the um, the Carifta Games in well, it was during the Carifta Games in the Bahamas. It was that same week that I remember receiving calls from some folks, <laughs> um, and some of them were journalists, by the way, about accommodation. Yeah. So all they were, they, you know, they they they, they um, didn't even know how they were getting to Grenada. They know accommodation <laughs> will be the challenge. Well, I should say they don't know how they're getting. Well, they, they probably guarantee a seat on the on the charter, but accommodation was the challenge. And and so that is the that is the thing about it in terms of them compared to us. We talk a lot about you know supporting and things like that. So, but when it comes to supporting, we're not there yet. I'm telling you that, except mm -hmm. for Bobby, Roger Augustine and others who will go there and, you know, <laughs> might be the only Grenadian with a flag in the crowd and things like that. So, you know, well, that's why, that, that's yeah. why I said we are seasonal. When yeah. the season come around, we jump oh. around. And after yeah. that, it's uh, yeah. I, I, I all thing. As, 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 as a Grenadian, I think the one thing we have <laughs> as a Grenadian that will always be in us is carnival. Wherever we are, it's a carnival. Yeah, but when well, we come to athletics, we're not there, you know. Well, we, we are not, you know. So well, we we just only there in the season. When the season come around, you see the crowd coming. Prior to that, they got to get ready for that time. How do well, they I get think, ready? I also well, think I also think this year the Bahamians got shocked with the amount of persons local in in the stadium because what is happening now yes. is the, the support of parents and family members. Mm. That involvement of parents and family members right now is at a high. So there is very little avenue for athlete to slag back because but, but, parents is involved. 
Yeah, and I'm hoping that with that sort of, um, uh, you know, well, interest and thing being shown, which is similar to that in swimming, for example, you know, um, I am hoping that the Athletics Association in particular, because there's no LOC again in terms of planning and coordinating. That was for the Caribbean yeah. host. Yeah. So yeah. it is the Athletics Association should be planning for 2025. Now, I always say that if they start early and noting the proximity, Grenada is the closest, right? Noting the proximity, you should be arranging to probably even have a, a charter, right? Yeah. Not, not, yeah. not the regular commercial, you know, flight, but a charter, charter. Flight yeah. that can take athletes, officials, and spectators, right? But if you plan early, that shouldn't be a month before. That should be plan way in advance. Yeah, hey, advance. We have 60 seats available for the public at XYZ. Not a repeat of what happened in the Bahamas last year, though. But, you know, yeah. But, um, and here is how we think. So then, if it's sold out and there's more interest, you might have a second charter. Second you know? charter yeah. But it all comes down to early planning. In addition to that, because we know the challenge, one of the challenges to for Trinidad um, is hotels, right? So a lot of people... Yeah, accommodation. Have, yeah, accommodation. And then we say not only character games, you have the swimming. Swimming is similar. They travel, the swimming people travel with a lot of... With the people. Yeah. 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 They travel... And then, and then it's not just two events. You still have the cycling. And then you have the cycling. Yeah. So yeah. you have and then, so and then on top of that, you have 28 countries in athletics. How much do you have in your other stuff, yeah. right? Right. So many countries, right? So I think Trinidad is Trinidad is sort of a hub of the Caribbean in terms of flight. Um, a lot of flights go to Trinidad. So yes, a lot of these countries will have access getting to Trinidad um, because there will be a flight that can get to Trinidad. So that's one of the things you got to look into um, in terms of accommodation, having a charter. This stuff should have been in plan already right now. Like I said, after CARFTA, the committee should be able to sit down and said, where do we miss certain things? How can we you know, work on that and what can we do for the next year and how do we plan? And that's what I think they should be doing right now, sitting down and putting things in place. Um, I've been saying this for the past for, for the past little while, but, you know, sometimes we don't see that. We look at the events, look at the event to say where we could have won a medal or where we could have an athlete and let us go and let us dive into the schools and say, hey, we need a shot putter on, on the 17 boy. How can we develop somebody or two people or, or two athletes in that area? How can we de develop somebody in, in the jump? So can we develop somebody in the high jump in that particular area? And then that's where we go to. Then you, you target the schools because it, it, it does come up from the high school, um, the high school level, right? How do you, how do you, how do we get there? And that's what they should be doing right now, you know? So, you know, let's hope that um, things can, fix and go well. Good afternoon. Lee Coffee is saying, totally agree with Nick on that. Coaches, um, need to be properly compensated for their efforts. And as mentioned, commitment has to be demonstrated by the coaches as well. Coaching is a full-time commitment, hence better provision has to be made for their livelihood. And, and, and in the case of Grenada in particular, I mean, the, the coaches are not paid per se, mm -hmm. right? It's Everything is basically volunteer, but at the volunteer. same time, you know, you yeah. expect, a lot of people expect to, to get them. something. You know? but, Michael, yeah. but Michael, um, it, it, it's not only in grenada it's here i'm in canada look how big it is we have the same issue you know um be, besides over the past few years with covid i never sent an athlete on a scholarship but i send an athlete on scholarship every single year i don't get they don't have it you know the parents don't have it you know so we have that in this country and a lot of coaches is they doing the exact same thing right here they can develop great athletes there's nothing in it for them they go on scholarship which is you know a hundred thousand dollar scholarship us they get in for the next five years next four years and there's nothing for the coaches you understand so when i coach out there i don't do it for anything i i, I do it because i you know because I, I, I want to i like the sport and this is my way to giving back for what the sport i've done for me yeah. and and i have great athletes that i did develop that you know that can do great things you know but it's everywhere it's everywhere yeah Teacher Forsyth is saying the crowd support is a critical ingredient in propelling our athletes towards excellence. It is my wish that there will be more sort of a drive to encourage a contingent of supporters to travel to Trinidad Carifter 2025. So we're saying, yep. we have quarter milers and we want to have a relay team in order to do that. 
planning must start early and communication with their colleges is a priority. Mm -hmm. Is a priority. Those yep. who are in, you know, the um, the colleges, right? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, yes, and uh, Mike is saying, agreed, we need to make a start with that four by four team and things will go. And then um, this year's World Junior is a good opportunity to send a mixed four by four and a four by four male in Peru. We have two very competitive teams, you know, um, I I, and I I think from a coaching point of view, I assume Nick understands what he's speaking about there, and I think that's an opportunity for um for for the Grenada team. But yeah, again, yeah. it boils down as we always say, funds. They always say funds. You know, corporate sponsors are potentially shooting their dollars in the dark. They do not know the real needs. Remember, their business is not athletics. Who is selling mm -hmm. athletics? Who is selling mm -hmm. athletics? Big question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Who is selling athletics? Excellent question, uh, Roger. <laughs> yeah, Roger. Yeah. Grenada has been beating Jamaica for two straight years at Carifta in the mix four by four. Yet at World Champs this year, our team will very likely be at home watching the team Jamaica compete in Peru. We need to do better for our athletes. Um, and that's from Mike Batiste, and Mike is our our um in-house statistician you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike. <laughs> and you see he put um two straight years in all caps so yeah you can tell it you can tell it you can tell it everything from 30 years back you know <laughs> that, that, that is for emphasis right if you're wondering what the caps were it's for emphasis yeah, right? yeah. you make um, it exactly. two years huh <laughs> Yeah, Trade. no, but but at the same time, yes, it's two years, and you know, have many conversations. We have a conversation here. Um, another way for more athletes for Grenada to also be on the world stage, especially Olympics, world championship, is a four by four and a mixed relay. Um, but it's something that has to be done. I mean, if if you know Michael and I was in Grenada, we would have been sitting with the administration. I'm telling you right now, um, you guys have to find ways to to push it, find speak to the right people. Um, so yes, we are here, we're seeing a lot of things. Yes, we hear we saying a lot of things, and we have to know the reason why. Once we understand uh, the reason why, we can say anything we want to say. In the really, end, we have to know the reason why really, they're not putting a team together. Why not? Think, uh, Rudy and, um, I think I'm not personal no grata. I can say that now when it comes to track and field in Grenada. I, mean, <laughs> I probably have been a bit too outspoken. No, I'm serious about it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got that feeling, and uh, I, I spoke to some, well, I sent a message to someone today, and I told them it appears that way because um there are folks who are afraid to even be on the program i must well don't me use the word afraid they avoid it be on the program listen if you come on the program i will just ask you and i always say it's not so much an interview it's a discussion let's talk about track and field what are your plans what it is you're doing okay um if there's something you believe that you don't want people to ask you or whatever so be it i understand that but I think but it's, but it's the same but thing I, goes with but I also believe and I, I keep saying that when you take on these responsibilities, right? You you have to be held accountable at times. There's a level yes. of accountability. You can't yes. just say, Oh, I'm the president of this, or I'm the general secretary of whatever in this. My God, let me add let me add one piece of thing to that. Professionalism. Well, yes, professionalism. You know, um, because so, all of you put it, all of you put it. If you are not a professional, if somebody tell you you're wrong, as a yeah. professional, you'll be able to walk along with the person, even if they tell you that you're wrong. But well, when, I, when the people is in the people that are in charge, if you tell them you're wrong, they tend to blacklist you yeah. and do whatever they want because you told them they're wrong, and that is not professional. To yeah, and, I think, and I think that's the problem we have in these national association there are too many too much um of this personal you personal, know, you know. Yeah, yeah and ego and this sort of thing listen there is no one will always agree with you but exactly listen there, there will be consensus right that's why you have you, that's why when you have an executive you have what four five six seven eight nine ten of you on the executive why because in ultimately, in terms of responsibilities, but there is also consensus. Other than that, mm -hmm. you just need one person. Because you just need one person. If you don't need other people to hold other 
you know, positions and things. Then it's just yeah, one just person. Yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So therefore, and the president view may be different from that of the vice president and that of the secretary and different people. I mean, we but all then they have to come to an agreement with one. But then you have to come to an agreement. That's why you have consensus. And my thing is that if my view, I don't share the same view as yours, it doesn't mean that I'm against you. Exactly. Let's see how we can work together. Let's see how my view and your view and his view and her view, we can come together, find a consensus around the various views and opinions and determine which one is the, not the, the best one, and not the best, best and not the best and not the best for us eh? not the yeah. best for us but for the, the best for the team going forward right yeah but that's the other thing about it yeah and not not your personal <laughs> thing no what it's for the team for the organization for the team whatever it is like that and i think that is the problem we have with these and and whether it's track and field whether it's football whatever it's too much a personal issue right and um if this person doesn't like you, oh, sorry, if this person um, doesn't agree with you or doesn't share your view, just forget them, leave them on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the person is against you. Or what? No, I don't think people are so much against. It's just that they want, they, 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 they want to make a contribution. They want to make an input, right? All you have to do, accept what they're saying. It may not, you may not agree totally with that, but let's see how what you're saying and what I am saying could come together, congeal for the betterment mm -hmm. of whatever it is. And I think, whoa, we 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 killing that. We, you know, and and I think that that is the other issue we have where a lot of people are staying away from. They want to get involved. I know we identify the whole issue of commitment, but there are people who want to get involved and you speak to them and they will tell you and you will wonder, well, how they know about this thing. They've seen it from far. Yeah, they're they listening there. They're well, yeah. they're there, they're right there. Yeah, they see it from far, and it's it's uh, it, it's striking that um, this is what affecting the administration of sports, and ultimately, is not these individuals that are affected, eh? our sportsmen and sportswomen, that are the ones who are affected, right? Um, well, like I said many years ago, even being here, that when you have somebody who never played a sport is in charge of it, then you have a problem. Who don't understand the sport because they never, a man never kick a soccer ball, but he's in charge of soccer. How does that make sense? You know, and and when you when you run when you run it as a business, then it's gonna fail. You know, if you if you see it for what it is and run it for what it is, then you'll be much better. Start running it as a business because it will fail. Joel Philip is saying the right people, and Joel is um, as you know, is a, also a, a coach, right? The right people, well, and he put a question now. We should have had a consistent four by four team years ago when I was an athlete. The same people who uh, who were there at that time, the same people there now. Um, here's the yeah, could I have a four by four, could I have a four by four team when I was there? Yeah, um, health discourse is important. It's all about working together. It's not. Uh, ooh, ooh, yes, corporate Grenada needs to do more in helping to fund athletes by helping to pay coaches, also in providing transportation for athletes who are living far away from training facilities. Also, parents need to give a more all-round support to their children. Also, the schools need to develop a program to help those athletes who sometimes miss classes due to training. The whole issue with corporate Grenada, as Roger is saying, and Roger is speaking from you know, the corporate side itself, is that who is selling athletics? It's all well, and I don't think anyone will just jump in and say, hey, mm -hmm. I'm buying, and, yeah, I'm buying yeah. and you don't know what you're buying. Okay. You, have <laughs> yeah, to, you, have yeah. you have the product. You have to reach out and say, my thing is that it, Monday was a holiday, Tuesday, when everything was ripe, everything was fresh. Since Monday night, I would have been looking and coming up with my proposal, document, blah, blah, blah. And by Tuesday afternoon for the latest, corporate Grenada, and I'm meaning sponsors what should have been contacted you know as it's fresh in their mind with some soft proposals right some soft proposal that should have been fresh in their mind because why on tuesday everyone was still talking about the character games and my thing is that you don't have to sit down and meet and come up hey this should have, and i'm saying soft proposal meaning that it can be a follow-up after or mm -hmm. it can be an invitation to discuss 
you know, put something on the table to discuss points one, two, three, four, five, six. We get to talk to you and we can follow up on it. Move from there. Yes, from yeah. there. <laughs> and that's why Roger is saying, who is selling athletics? Who you want to sell athletics? The coaches, the athletes themselves? Well, they already the authority. Well, no, but what I'm saying, the yeah. coaches and athletes already selling it to an extent. It's not for the authorities to take it and bring it. Um, and bring it. Yeah, and bring it to the doorstep. Um, let's see if we can wrap up with a couple more. Um, difference in opinions during make is different uh in options during make is different or enemies. It just means we have to come together to discuss issues and come up with solution for the greater good. Opinion, yeah. yeah. Difference in opinions, yeah. Difference in opinions. Um, so Kirani wouldn't get a four by four team before he retires. Uh, Roberts, um, <laughs> um, listen, I'm being honest with you. So, and I, I, I don't think I'm restricted to saying that. Kirani wants to run really, right? And I'm telling you that because I spoke to him in the presence of Gamali, and they both agreed. Mm -hmm. but the concern is. We need us more than Kirani and Gamali. You know that. We need at least five to six athletes because we do not want a repeat of 2011, 2012. When you see at one of the, at the pen release, for example, when Grenada was 2012, because they were trying to qualify for the um, the London 2012. London, yeah. yeah. And that's when Kirani did a, a split of 43, whatever it is there, right? Um, so you want athletes that can give you something. And it doesn't mean that someone like, example, like Kirani will have to run, you know, preliminaries and things like that, like how the Americans will do. They will have their a athlete or two. Just so, Yeah, just, just wait. wait. Just so wait. The, others, the others will ensure that they qualify, right? Yeah. Yes, and, and then you bring in the big guns. And then you bring in the big guns. So big that's guns. why you, you, you need at least some quality athletes, right? Something like about six. Yeah, about six athletes that can give you a good, probably averaging around a 46. And remember, um, these days, these guys, for example, you know, Sylvester, he had a 45, he split a 45, 45. Yeah. A 45. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the, the season just started, eh? Mm -hmm. he, he split a 45. And by the way, it was on the first leg, eh? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was on the first leg, he did a 45. So, I think we could get there, and it's all a matter of communicating with the different camps, Team Karani, Gamali, you know, reaching out to the athletes, letting them know what are the plans, how you hope to achieve it. And as that is something the late Harvey Glantz, may so rest in peace, told me regarding that, is that the problem has been the lack of communication. And most times they start the communication when the athlete would have already fulfilled and made Other obligation. Yes. So it's a professional athlete. Let's use Kirani James, for example, a professional athlete. Even when Braylon was around, a professional athlete, they would have made commitments with their sponsors and meet organizers to whether it's um the Diamond League, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You cannot come and then try to disrupt that. What should have been done is that these athletes and their coaches and their managers should have known, well, hey, Grenada wants to participate in X, Y, Z. They're looking at running mm -hmm. in this relay, that relay, et cetera. So in the event that um, a meet organizer called me to ask me if Kirani is available or Brelon is available or Rondel is available, I can tell them, um, yeah. So um, Kirani, let me see. Kirani is expected to you know, thing a relay for Grenada X Y Z. So, no, nah, he would not be able to. He's already committed to that for Grenada. Or I'm seeing here that it's he's free, so no problem with that. Okay, <laughs> you know, these are the sort of things. That is what they need. That's all. The planning, the planning. You know, communicating, even with the schools, etc. And I mean, things can work out. But if you decide to get up you know, tomorrow and then just try to contact Kirani and say, hey, we want to go in a relay, blah, blah, blah. Are you available? And Kirani say yes. But then the other artists say no. 
uh, or vice versa, then you have problems. Problems, yeah. And that's why they need to sit down and plan. And um, I think the administration of our sports, sometimes, you know, we take it for granted. And yeah, we, we, we keep urging and calling for really, et cetera, et cetera. But there's so many things that, you know, behind the scenes that have to take place. And um, mm -hmm. one of the main issues, because you asked Harvey, the late Harvey Glantz, and he'll tell you, but he said it on a program already. The problem had to do with the communication. I don't think nobody had had um, challenged what he said. He said it on the program and no one challenged it. So I, I have to believe him that the issue of communicating, lack of communication or late communication, okay. you know. Um, folks, let's just get some comments and then wrapping up here. Um, I am um, Roger is saying I'm proposing my alma mater GBSS runner athletics program that can potentially be the model that can be adopted nationally. Sometimes we have to lead from the bottom. GBSS is an athletics powerhouse and government may be likely to buy into this. So we're talking about selling athletics. So probably um, Nick will be something that uh, GBSS may have to do, sell the athletics, sell it for the school. You never know. Again, the communication starts with the coaches. If they are in college, if they are professionals, again with the coaches, we cannot just call athletes and ask them to sure. run. Yes. Yeah, and Roger says, we, we, and we have to look at you have to look at the timing too because the really coming up, the timing of it is NCAA, uh, and then yeah, you have NCAA meets happening at the same time. I know, Nick, I know you're laughing. Donna, what, Donna, what trouble are you trying to start here? <laughs> <laughs> Donna, what trouble are you trying to start? Um, um, for, I think, um, Roger said. I think for clarity and uh, for um, Roger started off by saying, as a as my alma mater, right? He did say that, right? And he was just proposing, but I assume, you know, <laughs> any, any school, any school can jump on it, you know? <laughs> well, Roger, they're ready to hang your boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, seriously, um, we, we really have to, uh, let me see what Mike says, France placed second at world champs in the 4 by 4 without a single qualifier in the individual individual 400 meters. Grenada has Michael, Troy, mm -hmm. Philip. Michael, Francois, Pierre. Troy, yep. Yeah. yeah, we have Jared. That's Jared Sylvester. Jaden, and the list goes on. Let's make a start. Make mistakes and fix them. Now, when the Bahamas won the 4 by 4 Olympic, goal in um 2012 in london i was there 2012. the only athlete of known on that team was chris brown chris brown and they won the goal <laughs> let me go let me go let me go further let me the go further than that athlete of known in that mm -hmm. trinidad and tobago has been winning medals mm -hmm. at the world and the olympics and yep. it was alan gordon who finished, who finished what third to Kirani in London? <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah, else. Yeah, nobody else. Yeah, nobody else knew any. Yeah, nobody else. Nobody else. But let me, but let me go further than that. Mm. Japan is always there oh. in the finals. Yeah, yeah. Who do they have running doing anything? Who's China there? is there. Who did they have? We had India this year. India last year was there in the four by four. Who do they have in any open event? So yes, you know when they 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 invest in that, they invest in those in those levels, and then yeah, we talk about we need four and, and I understand because I was an athlete, I understand the fact that athlete need to be, but sometimes Japan and them have the same four guys running the four by four heats and still come back and run the finals, you know. So I'm just saying yes, I understand at a level of crew and they need a backup, but sometimes we need four guys. You know, sometimes all we need is four guys. Like we said, they have to give them an opportunity to do it. Give them the opportunity. But like I said, Michael, we could sit down here and we could speak and talk that. about until the, rooster come, and yeah. until the roosters come home, nothing so, is going to happen. Um, we have to know why Grenada Athletic Association is not putting a team together. That's yeah. the bottom line. Once we understand that, then we could see, we could give them our, our advice. We can see what we have to say until we get to that level. Why they're not putting a team together. We could stay here and talk and talk and talk and then nothing will happen. All right. Let me, um, because we I, just I, have our own opinion I mean, of why I mean, not. I mean, right? I want to take up um, Kevin's 
suggestion of a sort of open line to discuss, you know, sports and discuss. And it seems as if track and field will get the spotlight. Um, Natalie Gerhari is saying, my daughter had to come to take part in the character games, but the coach didn't allow her. I guess he had better for her. Um, Natalie, I probably will have to talk a little more with you about that. Um, Lee is saying, yes, no, that has been on the table. However, too much politics involved around there. Are you speaking about the four by four? Four by four. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And Haran is saying, for athletics to be sold, we need to be aware of starts, times, athletes, performances, the stories of our athletes mm -hmm. and their struggles. Let the public know via the media. The more we talk, the more awareness will come. Time to blow our own horn. Do not let our athletes' exploits be forgotten. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. And one hundred and fifty years. One hundred and fifty years. Uh, yeah. One hundred and fifty years. I'm not even. I'm not even on for fifty, but I mean, you know, it's been going on for a while. You know. Yeah. And there's more than fifty. Um, he doesn't say, Michael, we need a female four by four. I'm getting my daughter ready. Yes, I know she's getting ready. We seen her, and um, so hopefully, hopefully, Hazel, she'll be there. And teacher Liz is saying, promising athletes are spotted in the primary schools. Why not send them to schools which already have proven successful athletic programs so that their ability can be developed? After all, we are looking for the best of our country in the long run, something similar to what uh, uh, amen, school side. amen. Yeah, the Jamaicans do that. I, I, I'm kind of like iffy about that one, but uh, I understand. No, no, well, no, no. Ru Rudy, and, Rudy, and she's 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 correct because listen now, no, no, no. And I'll tell we, you have, we have this we have this model where we 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 train primary school students, right? And the students will be excelling in the primary level, and we're expecting for that child to extend the the, the courtesy of performing when you reach the secondary school. No. According to which school you send that child, you will see a backward movement in the child progression because there is not a program in the school where you send the child. That's, yeah, and I think but that is the problem. There is the problem. Hold on, hold on. But no, but let, me, let, 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 me, let me let me give my, my answer on that one. Hold on, hold on. But that's the point. Yeah, go ahead. I, I was just telling you, that's the point Liz is saying is about mm -hmm. a school which has a program. You know, and that's what Nick is saying too. A program. Yeah. Yes. You need yeah. to have a program. But then here, 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 here we go now, and I want to use that. I had a lot of successful here in, in, in Toronto. A lot of schools, they don't have programs, but there's a club but, program. Yeah, but there's a club you program. Have that, yeah, but, then that will make a difference. Yeah, but yeah. You don't it's not necessarily school, because then you have, remember, teachers is just some teachers in some schools that are teachers. They're not coaches, right? That's and that's one of the things we have out here. So there's a school this is a program for them you understand i mean yeah they can go to the school the school may some school may have a good a good program but then they, they're part of a track program as well you get what i'm saying so where do, where do they get the, the best from so i think if a part of it too because you're saying that a kid from from let me use Sotez for an example a kid from Sotez is going down to gbs but that, that's a long distance i'm just using that for an example yeah, you know what I'm saying? that so, is that that is not so much an issue. Why? Back in the 90s, when, well, not even, not even later than that, Vida Bruno Victor was coach of the Anakin High School. She used to go around scouting. I'm getting the netballers. I'm getting the netballers. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm getting the netballers. That, that's why high school dominated netball for many years. You know why? Some of those girls were actually coming from, she would go around. She will see the netballers. And, and by the way, some of them were not even good netballers. She just realized Turn them into the air. That, yeah. that she would be a good netball. She will be a good shoot. She will be a good blah, blah. And she will turn them. And they will give them, as you will say, like a scholarship. They they use the term scholarship, right? Um, Sally and Clark was from way back in St. Andrews, wherever she yeah, but then, but then, but then, But then, Michael, that's what I'm saying. There's the difference. There was there is a program that will no. get them from one point to the next. If there is no yeah. program, yeah, if, if, it, if, it, if, if there is no program why, that will get them from point A to point yeah. B, then you're looking at you know it, it, it's 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 going to be an issue. But but, but then it's back down to the same clubs. But no, that's that's the same clubs. clubs. Which yeah. means which means that listen, we just we just took it out of the hand of the ministry and put it in the hand of the clubs. 
We just but, took it down yeah. the of the ministry and we put it in the hand of the club, which the club is running on that more or less itself. Yes, yes but the ministry but, support is what you need. So if the school, because in the school system, it would have a ministry support. In the school system, it would have a ministry support. Now, if you have an active program running in the school, it will be beneficial for the school. No, the, the club, the club benefits everybody because you are getting people from all different schools different involved school. with the club. But the club yeah. also runs on its own, itself. Yeah. yeah. But so here's, here's, an, here's, here's, here's another thing. And we are looking to expand the sport of track and field all year long, summertime. So when school done, then what? Club. There's nothing going on in the summer. Club. So if the club is there. But that's what I'm saying. So if the club is there. That's what we want to see. One of the key things to see every parish have a club. Kids may choose wherever they want to go based on coaches, who they want to coach. But if there's a program across the across Grenada of clubs, not only for track and field. Yes, we've seen a lot of football now, but where's the netball like it used to be? That's not even there no more. So if we have that going then we could see a lot of that taking place so the kids are constantly active in the sport and they have a proper system that they're into in the sport yes vita bruno did that because there was a program for them there's, there's not another vita bruno doing that now no, no, where no, they no. have a scholarship for them where they yeah. can leave from one to the end if you depend on parents man listen coming from satels to st george's every day that 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 that, that is ridiculous <laughs> Yeah. That is ridiculous, right? So <laughs> I am not against it, but I'm just saying there's certain things that has to be different than it used to be back then. It's not the same today. Even the athletes, the yeah. athletes today is not the same as the athletes as it used to be back in the days. Nick, Nick, read, read that comment there. <laughs> <laughs> None of the kids could go There is something that um that came up there that um Jazel said, and I know it's something that Rudy and we spoke about on this program many times. Nick and I want yep. to get your views on that. Puma mm -hmm. is not even a major sponsor investor in the schools and yep. the all athletics. Why? Yeah, Puma, our Puma, our big sponsor, athletics, yeah. Olympics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Why is not? Mm -hmm. Why is Puma not? No, look at Boys and Girls Champ, and every T-shirt is either a Puma, Puma, or Nike, uh, mm -hmm. some, some they are sponsored, very yeah. well sponsored. Why and, is and, Puma? And I, we, we, we key on that. We key. That's a key thing, and I pulled that because. I'm a big part of our high school championship here. I'm part of, we call it officer, so I'm part of the board, especially if we're hosting um, in our region. And it's sponsored by Nike. It is sponsored by Nike. And Nike, whatever they're giving, 25,000, 25, you know, 20, whatever money they give us, um, they make it back because they have T-shirts. And they sell yeah, the T-shirts back. And they have the year, they have the, the, the logo, they have, you can go in and put whatever events you want to do on it, and they can make it back. When they, when they are the mid Nike is the major sponsor out here, and Nike don't have much athletes out here, yeah, in terms of track and field, just right? Like so, the question is, like I always say, that why in Intercall, which is the second of the best high school in the Caribbean region after Jamaica, why we don't have a major sponsor like Puma who take not taking away those that what we have, we have sponsor, but we don't have an athletic sponsor. I mean, athletic program, like, you know, like Puma or even Nike, like they're not, and they, and they, we, but we're not selling it to them. That has to be sell. So that's when it come with the principals uh, association have to come in and how can you sell this to Puma or sell it to Reebok or sell it to them, but they can come in and make be a major sponsor to the second highest high school games, tracking for games in the Caribbean region. It's well, funny enough, look, 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 um, look, look, Joel, Joel, Philip. Joel Philip just explained it all there. He said Puma, Puma is not the, the um is not a sponsor for for that because the people who negotiated that contract did not negotiate it with that in mind. Um well, it's like, but it's, like, it's a different thing though. Because he, he, I mean, we're trying to use Intercom for an example, and it's different, right? Than yeah, using different, the, different. than yeah. using the than using the stuff, right? They just have to reach out to Puma and have and and have that that discussion with them you know and I, and I think you do that there will be a you'll be a difference you'll be a total different answer right. yeah 
Um, I want to believe that. Mm -hmm. Teacher Liz is saying it is not just about sending the kids to St. George's. It is about sending them to schools with proven, successful programs. Like yes, Ramos, exactly. Yes. Gas, St. David's Catholic Secondary School, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and every and every parish have a successful school, successful program. You know, um, yes, some people might look at St. Mark's, but I've seen St. Mark's develop so well in this intercal. Something is happening in there. Right. So, right? So, um, so we've seen it. So, guys, um, part of our final stretch now would be, in your mind, Nick, where do we go from here? Um, you know, coming out of intercal, we didn't have that sort of conversation because we were waiting for character, right? <laughs> Where do we go from here now that we have seen the potential of our athletes, many of our athletes, you know, some of them went, you know, above and beyond because obviously character games is at a higher level than the intercom, right? So where do we go from here? What do you see? What do you env envisage? What do you hope in for our well, athletes well, going forward? Well, um, well, my perspective of it is, we we um based on the participation of our athletes at the character. It was an excellent one. What we need to do is we need to regroup. For some of all, we need to regroup. We need to sit down and we need to talk things over and we need to prepare. Because it, it will it would not get easier, it would only get harder. Um um the 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 association, the GAA, the Olympic body, the Ministry of Sports. The sports minister, the the, the 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 public entities, the parents, the coaches, the well wishers, everybody now need to put their minds together, come together, talk things over, make um, negotiations, and we need to fix this for the athletes. It's not it's not about us no more. It's about the future of Grenada going forward in athletics. And we we see that we have product. We see that we have we have material. We need no to be able to get our material outside there and 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 and, and, um, and succeed, I should say, succeed what we didn't get a chance to do, you know, and and it all leaves in the hands of us, the coaches, and the people is in, who is involved in in um in in uplifting and 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 teaching these kids of what to do, coaching these kids. It's just not the coaches; it's the ministry, the the, the association. Well, we shot this. Everybody is a handful. So, in order for that to happen, as I'm telling you, Mike, Rudy, and we have to sit and come together. People need to leave that, what should say, malicious act of 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 blacklisting and this kind of tormented behavior. They need to leave that alone. Like old time ish, old time. Uh, funny enough, is I should have mentioned that earlier on. You realize, you no, know, the SARS. And the GBSS contingent is no longer a grappy, grappy, fighty, fighty. The people I see posting and posting and posting, all of them is good friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. of us is good friend. Yeah, they never yeah. have that no more. It, you know, we, we compete hard against one another. After that, it's love again. You know what I mean? So we need to know that, that uh, from that point of view, we are one. We are all one. When the boys on, we are all one. So we need to work together, and 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 I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Being honest, I'm seeing a bright, bright, bright future for Grenada and Athletics once the people who is in charge, as I say, give Jackie jacket and make things happen in Grenada. Yeah, and, and and there's no 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 so much criticism. It's just that you one is demanding the better, right? Yeah. Demanding better, and, and and there's also the feeling that if someone does not agree with what you are saying Sorry. again it does not mean that the person is against you don't, have, don't develop anger for the, you know you're not talking to them and you know these sort of things listen mm -hmm. this boyish well uh, i mean you know, the old time thing you know <laughs> you call it a little boy you don't care that yeah, you have to get that out of sports man yeah, you, sports, know, yeah. you should be able to come and be criticized or you know we are here, and Rudian and I will be discussing things. At that time, Rudian and I say, Rudian, I don't agree with you with that. <laughs> Rudian will say, I don't agree with that. But at the end of the day, you understand what I'm saying? We don't agree. It's just like that. There are a couple comments that, that we read that certainly we may not agree with, 
But I yeah. need to say against them. You understand? Mm -hmm. that, that's the thing about it. We have this sort of thing where people just figure that if somebody says something that seems to be critical, it is because they're against them. You don't want to talk to them. You know, you know the sort of relationship you had with them before is no longer there. And mm -hmm. this sort of, we have to move past this yep. stage. We have yep. to be mature. We have to be, you know, better examples to our sportsmen and sportswomen. When our sportsmen and sportswomen realize what's going on, they, they will lose trust and confidence in you. You understand? They will lose that respect for you as well, right? And thing. Uh, we have to move past that stage. People, you, you're in a position where obviously at a national level, you'll be criticized. <laughs> you yeah. will be criticized even if you don't deserve the criticism. You will be criticized. Yeah. What you need to do is to see how you can probably be uh, mature about it. Yeah, be yep. mature yep. about yep. it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that about is, what, that, that is be, exactly what I was saying. Professional. Mm -hmm. You yeah, have to be a yeah. professional. You, yeah, you, can't, you can't be this, as you say, yeah. little boy. You know, yeah. somebody vexed with you. You're not talking to this person. And, and you know, you're vexed with this person. So so everything you do is against this person. No. The yeah. person criticizes you now. You're all talking over and back to business as usual. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and consider those things as... Um, you Upliftment. Say, constructive and constructive. Upliftment. Yes, yes. Constructive. Even, even with some of them in sports in the higher area, they should be walking with a paper and, and, and a pad with them. Yeah. And just take what people say, and then in that way, you know, you go back and you really look at it, and you look back at what it is. Like, like I said, there's a lot of little things that we have seen that we could learn from. Um, let me give one example. I'm watching the character games, and I'm watching a long jump. I think on the 17 boys, I believe, the young man is on the runway, ready to run, and here comes the you know the metal people walking across, and he's going to bump right yeah. into him. The young man, you know, kind of shook up a little bit. And then continue running. That should never happen. Never. This is a world athletics championship, and it's been shown across the world. That should have never happened. So it, it comes where you see we have to have the professionalism in that area where yes, it does the only area they're going to walk in. Officials have to be there to stop the event, let them cross, and then continue on. The young man was, and the official should have had the young man do we jump over again because he was bumped into mm -hmm. you know so those little things like those are the things we, and so it's a lot of the little things like that you know we have to be but that's we learn we have to learn from that yeah, yeah. next time we're going to host the next time we're going to host it, it should be different yeah a lot of little things that michael you see like i'm on, i'm watching it on camera you know you guys was the imposter you guys look at a few little things and say you know what maybe we can do something different next year even though it was good, like I said, I give it the ninety, the the the, the eight or or, or the ten. That's what I give the character, the eight or the ten, because there's that two percent of things we can fix, right? There's a, a lot of that, right? So even it's, it's, even, even that four by four last race, that four that by is, four last race. Yeah. I mean, come on, it, it, it was it was a serious <laughs> blunder. It was a serious blunder by the persons in charge. No, no. After you see. Four of those athletes actually came to a complete stop in the races, which means you know something happened. The Jamaicans went out and 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 I mean, come on! Uh, before the before the handoff, what should have happened? You you stop the handoff. You know, well, uh, uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Because listen, no. all all the, all the athletes heard all the athletes heard. Two songs that I got. All right, so, which, so which we all know, which we all know, the first one is to go, and the second one is a first time. So, so when I um when I when I after whatever happened, I went down to the field, and you know, well, I didn't want to get too much involved. <laughs> I started speaking to some of the officials that I know, right? I know pretty much uh, a few of them well, both in Grenada and outside of Grenada, and I remember I remember. The, one of those officials, the first thing they said is, uh, hey, Mr. Bascom, not we. <laughs> he was like, not we. Everybody <laughs> taking on the yeah. like, not we. Like, the Grenadians are safe. All right, I say, okay. But what I heard was that um, there was the gun, went, and apparently this, the other gun may have probably fallen, hit, mm -hmm. whatever, 
and it triggered the automatic another song. song. It, right. it, mm -hmm. triggered, it triggered that automatic recall, which is the other song. And so that's why there was the start and stop and you know, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Because and I complete eight seconds, eh? Yeah, I slowed down the video, eight yeah. seconds stopped, eh? They were eight asked, seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. But here's but, my... Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. I'll finish it. But apparently, everyone went into a panic mode, right? Mm -hmm. because, exactly. Because they, a gun could have been fired off again, even when they, start, they, they, they left, to indicate that, hey, we recall in the race, false start, whatever it is you want to call. You could have fired it off and then it come back as if it's a technical error. No one false started, but you fired it off. Let's say past that stage because they, they left. Well, they left. The, the marshals could have taken their flags and go onto the track. And stop the race. And stop so the race. Like, so that's the next one. So even, so, even before, so even before the, the handover, and the marshals then, just stopped it. So you have that situation where they could have gone there. They had radios. Hey, to mm -hmm. call, stop the race, stop, stop the race. race. Somebody get, somebody give them, get give them the rest. Flag. Somebody yep, give them the flag. rest, yeah. Wave your flag, whatever, because you have flags there. Wave it, they will see it and they will stop. Then you had the handover. The handover took place right next to the start where you mm -hmm. could have said, hey, no stop, the race. stop the race. Stop the race. And that would have been the ideal area probably after the marshal, ideal yeah. area to stop. And give them a break. You give, you, with, 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 with that stop now, with that stop now, you would have given the, the persons who probably completed the first leg, probably yeah. the team would have changed over and put the person on the last leg. So they get some rest. They should have just given them a half minute rest. You have done 20 minutes. But you get rest. You can delay for 20 minutes. Yes. Yes. Everybody will recover. But, yes. But here the, here the situation. I spoke to one of the technical persons and they said, that they had enough time because they had medal presentation and all of that that was scheduled that could have even put the that's why hold up the race back that could have hold the race so they had enough mm -hmm. time even enough if time. even if the athletes had completed the first lap they mm -hmm. had enough time to relax because you could have they could have 20 25 minutes later they could have run that race because it could have come as if it's a technical error we had. We had a technical glitch. We given the athletes time, and we'll start the race again. So I mean, a lot of things happened there. So all in, 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 in all of that, Michael, you were there. Both of you guys was there. I want to ask this question. There would be a protest, of course. That's when, basic. When? We, we know that. When? When, when, they, when? They had to be. A, well, that's no, they no, had no, to no, be no, a no, protest. No, 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 they no, had, no, no. Well, well. He, no, no, a team. No, no, no. Because the race did run, so a team. Those three countries had no, to say no, something. No, no, nobody protested. Um, no, no, no. But they, but they had to. I mean, they they run the race again. Made no, them three no, countries run. Well, no, no. Yes. Listen, so, based on the, no, it's based on the rules. Eh? Because remember, um, it didn't reach the level of a protest to say that you have to. You know, the protest where you have to pay money, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. It didn't reach that. It's just. It's the same thing, like. And Nick, you will realize when we had the issue with the 100 meters with Bishop at the end. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. against time. so they just, yes. all they did, they activated the rule where the teams, because it was an error, not of any teams or, or athlete. It was a technical, well, they had, they, that was their problem. And based on the rules, they have to give the other team the option. By so, my question. This is where I want to ask my question. No, 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 let me just okay. finish. Let me just finish. Yeah. Even before they go to that, when you look at the rule, and that's why at the intercall, I said, guys, here are the rules. Look at the rules. You can give the team, the team that complete, it, they have the option to rerun the race. Now. But that's, uh, that's so, where I'm going. Yeah, hold on. That's where I'm going. They have yeah. Option, but in most mm -hmm. cases, in, and in a situation like that with a four by four, there's no way Jamaica will go and rerun that or Grenada will go and rerun it, right? You can feel confident that, hey, I've did my part already and I'll leave it up to the others. Now, in the case of Antigua, Trinidad, and was it Bahamas, Bahamas? Or Bahamas yep. one of them, yeah, Bahamas, that did not complete. 
they have the option to run against time. That is a situation in the intercall, no. for example, where Bishop had to run against time. No, no, the intercall one was a most straightforward one because the, the um Bishop Bishop knew he, he knows the rules. Mm -hmm. He knows the rules. So when he went to the, the to the to the um the starters, the starters acknowledged that yes, there was a second sub. So they gave him the option to run against the time because the other, right. No, no, however, a lot of people that say, oh, GBS is like the like the, um they like to the appeal. No. Once you know the rules, you work mm -hmm. with the rules. rules. Now, had it been for somebody else, well, let me say GBSS, in that race, I would have appealed. Because my athlete stood there close to eight seconds before you run off, which means that at the end of the race, you would be, sub be, you be um, subtracting eight seconds from the ending time. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I mean... If that... no, 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 they had to. They had to give me that opportunity to mm -hmm. rest my team and run my team in that race. No, you're yeah. talking about management. No, you're talking about management. Well, no, I, management I, is not just I, being there managing. Management well, means knowing the rules and was, applying the rules that, based that, on that. what the team needs. And so, at that and point, that was my at question. Point, and that, that was my point, question. Um, was at that point, Bascom, there, there was a second gun. So oh. there is strong for winning the appeal. Yeah, so so yeah, 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 the thing about it, um, Nick and, and Rudian, and which I was kind of disappointed. So we were there at the finish line, well, around the finish line area there, where they had the mix zone. And you, you saw Trinidad and Tobago, you saw Barbados, all, I mean, Antigua, all of them, they warming up, right? They were confident that hey, we had an opportunity to run again and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. What was happening there? The coaches of these teams, even the Jamaican team, well, I shouldn't say coaches, officials, were down there. Yes. I didn't see a Grenadian official there. I well, they probably, no, that, was that probably was my, wrong. You know? That, that, so my, my question there. was so that's what as, as my question was since you guys was there. What the question is, what was Grenada management um, um point of view on what happened? Because no, no, Grenada team should have run over. Hold on, but I'm telling because you because they fully stopped. Wait, I trying to make it clear. I'm not saying that there wasn't any Grenada official. I'm saying yeah. I did not see, right? Right. It could have been, but I could have I, we noted, we noted the Jamaican was there. Even though they had completed the race, they had an official day. I don't know if it was a coach yeah. or whatever. It is. Yeah, yeah. And mind you, these guys come so prepared. He had of a course. radio. He had a radio, and he was mm -hmm. communicating with whoever it is on a radio. Radio. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The radio, right? Mm -hmm. radio. Yeah. They, that's how they travel. Eh? They they travel with their all the things. In fact, they they they, they pull along a, a suitcase with whatever it is that they need and all these sort of things, right? So he was back and forth on a two-way radio, right? Speaking to whoever it is. And I guess that much got getting instructions, whatever. Trinidad had a, an official who was there, and I'm telling you who I saw at the time. They might have been a Grenadian probably hiding somewhere, but I didn't see. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just telling you. And it just comes down to, I just said, management of the... Management? Right? Where was the... Yeah. Michael, in the beginning, in the beginning, I said, part of my 2% is um the artists need to learn how to um stand for themselves um and i said in the beginning in, you know if a kid jump in and they say it's a fault there's a camera show it to me don't just accept it the, the artists need that that's why coaches coming in have to teach these guys when they're on this level of competition they have to be able to teach them how to stand on their own how to stand for those things that's what i'm saying the same thing right uh, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's wrong. Let's see, I don't think it's wrong. Hold it. So, like something that last week. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. So, so that was that was my thing. And and then, like I said, in that last week, your food stopped. And yeah. I don't know if that athlete look back and see anybody else stopped. Or you just look at who was in front of him. But if you see other people stop, and my thing is that he stopped. He probably see the other teams in front of him going and he continue going because and he also got a second gun. At least, at least I give him yeah. I give him a hundred percent credit yeah. for going. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent credit because for going. If he look back, if he did look back, he would have seen three teams stopped. 
and yeah. he probably would have just stayed with them. And, and that's my opinion because I said yeah. I wasn't there physically to see. Yeah. Well, um, what happened, but then what, what the thing about the management should have should have covered some sort of protest and, exactly. and run and run exactly. again. What happened? Run again. What had happened is when when um, when the race started, he started, but he heard the second gun, so he slowed. He slowed and turned back and realized everybody has stopped. So he came to a complete stop, but then he really realized he realized the next team is going and none of the officials were really good. responding. So he ran too, which is yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would have done the same thing. But then if if the other team stopped and the official realized it was a mistake by them, they should have first of because, all, yeah. first of all, yeah. they should have the marshals should have stopped the race. In the yeah. middle of the race. And if the marshal didn't do it, at least at the starting of the 400 outside it, where the starters were standing, they should have stopped the first handover. So Lee yeah. is saying there was uh, an attempt to protest. However, the outcome or options provided wasn't in favor of Team Grenada. Um, oh. so, uh, <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, no. No, listen, I, 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 listen, I, I'm sorry. Um, the same how Jamaica come prepared and they know Britain, the United States, France, they always prepared. And I've seen it before in 96 Olympics when the Canadian hurdler, when she tripped and she left them, then when she tripped and she, the, um, the, the French, the French girl fell down and they protest. The American girl won and from from what I my understanding, America said they are not running again because they win. You, you, you have to be able to have strong people representing you that can stand for the athletes. Let's, yeah. let's consider yeah. that let, as bad as it is. Let's consider that a loaded process. It's a loaded it is a loaded process. And, it um, is a loaded process. Yeah. One thing, one thing yeah. I don't want us to do, and I told people that, let us not let that really define. No, the whole games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Outside of that, yeah. outside of that yeah. I think as and as many will say, it's probably was an anticlimax. But outside of that, I'm telling you, it was a wonderful games, yeah. especially yeah. for Grenada. Even though we probably could have won more medals. But, but we just had to make we just had to make the, the public know that the for that one hurt us. But let me say this. <laughs> yeah. if, I, if, I, if, I, if I could disagree with me, I believe that Grenada team. Was going to win the four by four. They would have won. They would have won. They would have won. They would have won. Was going to win the four by four. They and they should won. accept because yeah. in that level, three three fourteen is not getting you a medal at that yeah. level. Yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. They, 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 they shouldn't accept that. And yeah. like again, yeah. I they probably and, and did say they would get nothing out of it. Three fourteen subject yeah. eight. Eight three fourteen yeah. subject eight. Let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something about that too. Um, I think. I'll probably have to blame the stadium announcer. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. Yeah, why? You know, there was a lot of hype going into that final race. Um, and and give credit to them for that. I mean, there was a lot of hype because going into the race, it was announced that Trinidad and Tobago is making it clear that Jamaica would not have a clean sweep. So I think it was one race that the Jamaicans were very nervous about. Because yeah. remember, the previous relays, they, they sweep that, eh? You know, they yeah. got all of that. That was one relay that they didn't. They wasn't going to win. Not, they I say, no, I wouldn't say they wouldn't win. They wasn't going to win. I think I think I'm I think I'm putting that word confidence on, on my Grenadian team. I think Grenada would have won the four by four. No, no, no. With a relay, anything can happen, you know. So even now, like a four by one, I will tell you that the, the Americans will look the strongest on paper. But then if you can get the batter across. Yeah, we know it's a yeah. batter. We, 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 we know that. 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 You know, I, four four. Four. I was yeah. giving Grenada. Yeah. I was giving Grenada that four by four. Yeah, that men, four by four. Yeah. That, that four men that went outside to represent Grenada in that four by four. Yeah, and Jamaica was afraid of that. That's why they don't want to run again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really got them an extra half an hour to rest and then run again. But yeah. I was given, I was no. given Trinidad, Trinidad, <laughs> Jamaica, and the Bahamas a chance at that four by four. It was an open event. I'm telling you, it was an yeah. open event. But, but in the end, the Bahamas end up getting disqualified. Yeah, yeah, well, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. You anything can they step on the, I, I, I actually saw them step, step on the line, and I'm pretty well, sure it was a line violation. And then mm -hmm. what I'm telling you, just like the four by one with the batter, 
the four by four, anything can happen. You could have a yes, but so but you could have a disqualified. Yeah, you could, but the race is going to run. Even yeah. though they're going to disqualify the end, the <laughs> and the four by one, the baton is going to drop. Because and at four by four, the race is running. They're going to disqualify you in the end, and oh, then no. you could say, "Well, we beat you," but just like a line, you know. Yeah, yeah. Man, what's <laughs> line. Yeah. BQ, you could BQ as well. But but no, but yeah. the thing about it is that. These, these teams, these four teams, I'm telling you, they were looking good, right? Yeah, and no, no, certainly, certainly. Probably, probably, probably Grenada had the home crowd and stood a better chance outside of that. But there was this rivalry between Trinidad and Tobago and Jamaica when it comes to the 4 by 4 at Carifta games. Um, traditional, I'm telling you that. Traditionally, 4 by 4 So, and there was this, um, but you heard this um, back and forth between the Trinidad and the Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, 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 Michael, yeah. I think that no, no, was going to no. be a time that Grenada and Liam get in that mix. No, yes, yeah. I'm saying that. I'm saying that to say that based on that, Grenada with the home court advantage would have been going into the race probably as the underdogs, and it would have been in their favor, right? Yeah. Because the hype at that time was between Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, right? right yeah. Even they announced at the stadium, announced that Keith Joseph was saying it, and he was letting people know the history at Carifta Games in the 4x4 between the Jamaicans and Trinidad and Tobago. And he was like, will the Jamaicans make it a clean sweep? Now, all along, you and I and others were thinking, here is a chance for Grenada, because Grenada is looking good. And probably the focus might be on Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, but Grenada will Grenada will give yeah. them a whooping, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. That Grenada would give them. And that's what I'm trying to say. I think Grenada came in there almost as the underdogs because Grenada never used to really feature in that sort of rivalry in the four by four. But coming into that race, coming into that event in particular, even though they were hyping Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada was probably the better team um there. And Grenada is the one that might have been able to surprise them. You understand? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. that to me, why it was considered a sort of anti-climax, because there was so much expectation going into that four by four. Grenada mm -hmm. winning that uh, uh winning that goal, let's say four by four, yeah. could have been Grenada winning character games. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I tried to picture. I tried to picture <laughs> What that stadium would have been like if they had won that four by four. Oh, you'd have been crazy. You'd have been crazy. However, <laughs> um, finally, for us to go, Nick, there's an issue here, and I don't want. Well, I mean, you might have a different view on it. The whole issue of the stadium being used for these other mega cultural events. That's one. Um, there is something I want to share with folks, and I want to speak about it probably on another program because, as a matter of fact, there are Grenadians who are part of this it's called the next college student athlete right um okay. actually it's a program where um you get spe specifically coaches and and um and um, parents they will register their athlete or this the student their child into this program and they basically will search for colleges and things for their students as a matter of fact i met the parent parents rather of one of the students, and the, the, the father was bold enough to tell me, he said, Michael, you know something? And my boy wasn't even a good, a good athlete. <laughs> because, you know, he has a full scholarship, blah, blah, blah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, his, wow. name is, his name is Jamie Lawrence. He attended, he had a name, Jamie Lawrence. He attended the Presentation Brothers it's College. Brothers College, yeah. Right. But, I mean, outside of that, a lot of people may say, well, who is he? You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, so that is a program I think I want to have the link and uh, the school he's attending and the school he will be attending and the country, you know, I think like that. that's one of the things I am, I'm hoping that we can talk about um, in, the, in, the, in the future. The use of the stadium, um, I have a little issue with that because I, as I told someone, we do not have artificial grass at the stadium. So that's my concern. Uh, they, they're trying to compare the use of other facilities in other countries, etc. And I say, hey, look, a lot of those facilities do not have the sort of grass we use. They don't have the natural grass. They have artificial grass. So what they can do, replace they, it. they can replace that tomorrow. Replace morning. 
All they do is make a spin and you just uh they but take the cutting out the cutting out the potion and putting the same the same potion back in. Yeah, they have those things stored there because it's artificial. And all yeah. and I, it's, a, it's also a level of a, a level of how they, they maintenance too, right? Yeah. So yes. you know they have they have performance, they have a proper really good maintenance team that can just come back and take so, care of certain things, right? So yeah. So that's one of the things I I, am, I think we need to talk about. You know, we spoke about the athletes, and there's one athlete that I want to single out. He's only 16 years. He's actually, well, I should say a, my neighbor, but he lives in not too far from me in Brooklyn, New York. His name is D'Angelo. D'Angelo, bro. D'Angelo, yeah. Year. Run an excellent, excellent 800. Excellent 800. 800. Mm -hmm. and he was basically on unknown eh? yeah um, yeah for people who doubted his inclusion on the team right mm -hmm. but i thought he in fact and because he is well he is you know grenadian born in the u.s Nova, he got a lot of um write-ups in the u.s you know and to me um if it was just somebody from grenada i don't think they would have gotten that sort of write-up as he, how he got it because he was um, various news, well, you know, news outlets in Brooklyn and in New York. Took it and go with it, yeah. Took up story about him. This right. New York went to the character games, and you know, he back, he actually did a PR, you know, all of that. And it yeah. was, it was someone who's coming out of an Indo season, basically yeah. Indo season. Indo, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the potential of him doing well in the out in the in, in the all the, those, it's the, great. Yeah, that 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 to me. Um, there's a other thing um, that I think, as we, we spoke about the cultural aspect of it, I thought, um, you know, and uh, we, we could have done a little more about that. The inspiration of some of our current Olympians, and it was nice to see Kurt Felix around. And Lyndon Kurt, was there. Lyndon was around, but Kurt particularly being and Anderson Peters yeah. was also around. Anderson, okay. yeah. Yeah, and things like that. So um, one of the things... Um, that I thought we could have done better is the, and I, I think we need to start looking at that, the numbering of seats at the stadium. Um, I think on the logistics part of it, and it's something we could um, that could have probably dealt with earlier in the program, the, the, the stadium, the seats are numbered. And therefore, you have to start, you know, probably selling the tickets and things according to the seats. So that if you take the uh, the... The finish line upper, finish line lower, you know, these sort of thing. They are numbered. And it's easier for the marshals and all of them, you know, to deal with people that are coming in. Hey, you have a um seat in the lower yes, that's that's um, how they do it in the big um in the big arenas. You yeah. you put your seat. Right? You, you put your seat. Yeah. And it's they numbered. And it, it, it's better too in terms of the person um, or organizations or entities that selling tickets, you know, yeah. it's, it's there, were, there, were no, there were no, there were no, when, when we are uh, uh, maximized. Yeah, maximum, maximum. yeah, right. You know, when you reach your maximum in terms of that and things like that, you can basically say you're sold out when you're sold out and not yeah. saying you're sold out and then blah, blah, blah. And then you know? not, yeah. yeah. So but but funny enough is we, we, we know, we know now too that um some people buy tickets with, um, with, 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 with all the, the preparation to go and then on the day you just can't make it so make it, yeah yeah sometimes you know that the statement that um that uh miss bruno made is probably based on you know like the tickets were sold and and in that case in that case there is nothing you could do you know? yeah and, and finally on that issue the, the issue regarding the morning and afternoon sessions um, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, when the character games were launched, the question was asked, and an official from the LOC indicated that there wouldn't be any tickets would not be sold on based on sessions, but rather would be sold based on days. It's like days. So you buy a ticket for Saturday, it's for it's Saturday. Saturday. So I thought it was sort of inconvenient. When they are asking for people to leave the stadium, right at the end of, and mind you, um, I spoke to Mr. Moses, Aaron Moses, and he, I realized that it was probably causing a little problem because here it was, you had an event that was still going on. It was, I think, it was one of the jumps, 
And the announcer was actually asking for people because to leave the stadium because the track event finished. And they're asking for people to leave the stadium. And there were people who was, hey, I'm not leaving. I'm still watching my event. You mm -hmm. know, because you bought a ticket for Saturday, you bought a ticket for Sunday, and you bought a ticket for Monday. For Monday. You did not buy a ticket for a morning session or afternoon session. You know, and I think that is an issue that they have to look at. All right. I know, I know that we have the Whitsuntide games coming, which will be over two days, you know, and things like that. So if it's something that they can look at, if somebody they bought a ticket for this the day, it's for the day, right? And you cannot ask them to leave. And and, and there was a case where someone, for example, um, you know, I remember I met this person and they said they came from St. Andrew. And you telling me to leave this where where am I going? And you was, I say I can't. Yeah, that's far. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Because they came with their basket with their food and you know, yeah. The majority of people came looking more or less camp out to the farm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that. And, and, yeah. And you asking them to leave the stadium. Yeah. You know, um, when whereas they did not buy a session, but they bought a ticket for the, the day. Right. You know. And, and 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 at one stage you had an event that was still being contested. It was a field event that was still on, and you're basically asking people to leave the stadium. Then it caused so much confusion that you're asking people to leave the stadium, and the folks in the, in the gate were allowing people to come into the stadium at the same time. <laughs> so people were coming into the stadium, and then there was the police officers telling them that, and they were like. But I just came through. Why they allow me to come in? And you tell me I have to leave. And then you go down to the, and they say, well, nobody told me anything at the gate. They say, nobody to, gave me any instructions. You know, uh, right. people have tickets. They're coming in. I let them, let them come in. You know, communication. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So things, yeah. There are a lot of things that behind the scenes and uh, that may not have been, if you're watching it on TV and things like that, you may not have seen or experienced. But these things, um, happen and I'm hoping that these are things that can be corrected. Guys, um, I want to thank you very much. It has been an extended, but we had a lot to talk about. Hopefully, Nick is not the last time we have um <laughs> Kevin suggested Great. something where we'll want to talk a little more in depth on a lot of issues, but we want to hear from the public as well. So mm -hmm. we'll we'll have a situation where we will be able to hear from the public, you know. Um, yeah, from the from the public. Their views on not just the character games, because obviously it will go on by then, not just track and field, but sports in general. The development yeah, of continuous sports, growth, continuous growth, continuous growth of sports in Grenada. Whether continuous it's growth. football, whether it's track and field, whether it's um netball, uh, albeit track and field is one of those that these days that you know creating a lot of buzz and all and 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 rightfully so this year because. It came right after the character games came right right after the intercall. Yeah, right after the intercall too, and therefore there was still a little hype, you know. And I'm hoping that that hype can be translated into the Whitsuntide Games in is next month. Yeah, next May? month. Yeah, yeah, next month. And we have we have um we have relays, the relay championships. You know, um, hopefully they get some um foreign teams to come in and give our boys um give our four by four and mixed teams some some competition. Competition. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Give show them. So our four by four team can probably that missed out on the character goal, as we would say. <laughs> can probably do a can give us a time, you know, that we can say, yes, that was it. You know, um <laughs> I, I think that that to me would probably be you know the best way forward for uh, track and field athletes. Yes. Especially for the bit sometimes. <laughs> so thank you very much, guys. Um, thank you very much for all the folks um, that have been chiming in. So many comments. If you missed out, you can go back and read some of the comments. A lot of comments, folks. Thank you for that engagement. We hope to be talking. I don't know what we will talk about um, next. <laughs> we may get the um the call-in program then to just talk about sport. But Nick, I want to thank you for being part of the um, the discussion. Um, Most welcome. Certainly we'll be monitoring. And um, I, and again, we'll, we'll be like, um, Ian Bishop will say, remember the name, Timothy Greenwich. Timothy Greenwich. Timothy, Timothy Greenwich. 
remember the name, Timothy Grinich. I will be following his exploits. Um, by the way, um, any of your athletes, you know, any of your athletes who may have been, this is their final year of competition and what is like for them? Um, we have we have we have a we have couple we have couple of them, but um when we speak to them, the majority of them is like you know, like 16 years old in form five. 16 years in four or five. So it, it gone on the days, it gone on the days when <laughs> it gone on the days when you know you might have um a 17, 18 year old boy in form just reaching four or five. No, it's not it's, it's nothing like that. 16 years, you're in four or five, writing 11 subjects, and you're still on top of the athletics. So it is a task. Um uh usually what happens is um some of them is signed up to uh, get scholarships and um some would be on a waiting list for scholarship. However, once you're on a waiting list, my thing is you're back in school. If the scholarship is going to come through, then then that's it for you. You know, I, I really don't like um, the, the idea of retaining them. But if they need to stay until the scholarship comes through, that's not a problem. You see, a, a nice question too. <laughs> <laughs> You see, so, so yeah, but so the concern, and not just, and that's you with your athlete. I'm certain. It is. It is with a lot of. It is with a lot of schools. It is. It is with a lot of school because um, even like for instance, Josh M. Sylvester, I think he's a four five student too. So you know, he's a young young guy. So what happens? Yeah, that's a problem. Um, but, but certainly, um, people like Josh M. and others, um, you're hoping that. If they have to leave school and God forbid, Tam CC, that they'll be in the clubs, they'll be involved in clubs or something like that. So yeah, be they'll, they'll be involved in clubs. Um, but uh, in, in terms for for competition, competition in terms, you know, in the school you you you, you feel the competition outside in, in, in Tam CC. More or less, the competition is just the mini meets, <coughs> mini meets, yeah. um, yeah. national yeah. championship. So, so there is a concern definitely for the future of some of our athletes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. Um, probably um Rudian, that might be a um a discussion we may have to continue on come next week. Uh, next week, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. Like I mean, my my view is that I always state and I want to say it again, we need to change the the um the school systems. But the kids yeah, but are that, finishing school too that, soon. That's that my too. yeah, but that you know it that's wouldn't a, happen overnight. Yeah, that's um, a or, or, or we go to uh we look at what Jamaica does, you know, they have the it's but, two part system when they're still in high school. Um, the problem, the problem they go is, to six forms and, and all those type of things. So yeah, the problem is in the meantime, and that's what we are trying to develop in our last conversation. You, you, what you're referring to, the Rudian, are policy dec decisions, things that will have to by probably an act of parliament. No, no, no definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. take a while. <clears throat> the problem here is now: what do we do in the meantime? As um, Patricia is saying that. Too many of our athletes are falling through the cracks. Something needs to be done for people like Joe, 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 Joe Kim and others. Yeah, yeah. What, what do we do in the interim to ensure mid, that mid we not continue losing these athletes until yeah. such time as what you suggested? Well, so just come, yeah, you need meets. You need meets. Um, you, need, you, you really need. You need. You need to have meets. Um, yes, we know we on and on on the on the um the Tom C C the Tom C the Tom C C. You know, Tom CC is, is don't have a program. You know, they, they the, not, we can do on that sense, right? But we, if, we, if we have a second year in secondary school, yeah, that's the best that's thing. To that's what we're saying. Thing. Right? It's the same thing. That's the best I'm thing. Not, if if, 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 if okay, thing, like you said, yeah, if a scholarship is not open to take you right out of the form five, yeah. After yeah. exams, it's better that you stay for a second year. You yeah. say, and only take a yeah. second year. You also don't have to do eleven subjects right away. Exactly. You can exactly. put you on to do five and then come back and do another five or do another six. Yeah. You don't have to do all of but it one time. You see, you, you yeah. see, the next thing is you don't want to don't do all, but funny enough is I can tell you the, the guys, the guys that do the eleven and twelve subjects and they are top of the athletics, those guys get the whole eleven and twelve subjects. I can tell you that. Yeah, so yeah. even 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 when they they come back for a second year, sometimes they pick up a subject, two, three subjects that they never did, and they still get it at the end of the you know, so you yeah. just and, and, and then again, it's, I'll go back to a policy thing where there's yeah. certain things you can add in school, um, life changing skills, um, and turn it into subjects. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and many schools do it. You see it in the US, you see it in the UK, you see it here in Canada where they actually have these programs, 
um, a lot of different programs, you know. Um, so there's a lot of different things that they can yeah. they can actually yeah. get. So this, yeah. system is under the, um, the Caribbean examination. It, it, it is, and that and that and that's where the problem falls in, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. it, it, it's a big change. However, you know, I just I just think is is meets, um, and it cannot be only in the season of when it coming to to split. The meet gotta be mixed year year long. Um, you gotta have competition. Yes, almost every stadium now have a light. You know, we could have a, a night light. You know, it could be a throws night. It could be a it could be a four hundred night. It could be a you know a hundred meter night. Yes, yes. It doesn't always have to be a full competition. You know, with with all the events, it could be different things until you, it's leading up, leading so up the to, the, to big the big one. So it just little meets like that. I really think can help. But that has to be done with the government. The, the, the Ministry of Sports have to be able to put a lot of these things together. Um, yes, we say it over and over and over, but that's where they have to come in. It doesn't have to be at the stadium. It could be, a, we have, we could put like a circuit. You have the, the, the four recreation gong, then we have, the, you have St. Andrews have one, and then we have St. George. You know, where there's places that can do and you can do circuits. It doesn't yep. always have to be the same thing. And that will open up for not only the high school kids, elementary schools too. They are suffering the exact same way as the high school. Or even more because some of them just have three meets and that's it for them right so it, th those are the things that have to come to, it's had to be meets competitions meets and i'm uh, hoping that the the um the parish councils that they're putting together now could play a big part by saying yes we can host meets and yes we can do certain things in the in the level and it's not only again for track and field it could be volleyball every every parish have a beach we could just do it on the beach we can do we could do the um, the netball we can do the basketball not only track and field yes we love the sport we love track and field so we talk about it but it's not only for 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 um for track and field it can be for every other sport you know but i think that's what it is meets competition competition and once you can do that then and then when you get to the major ones then you have to be sanctioned so that it could be recognized right the smaller ones don't necessarily have to be because it's hard to rec um to use a tra uh, a grass field and get an IWA of you know sanction for that for sure right but when you get to the stadium make sure it's a sanction meet that when they qualify and have a standard it will be it, it will be acknowledged but the other meet just have to meet it has to be meets it has to have meets and if schools schools have to put meets together too they could just have our own relay meet you know and a school could just bring a relay team just and that's all it is and just have the kids competing and you got to start from since um november you know and it, it doesn't have to wait till we get into february and march and then we start getting the hype of everything it has to start earlier than that but meets is very important that's the key thing meets 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 and then once they can get that i think they'll be in a good place but until then we are going to be doing the same thing as they've been done over 50 years when i wasn't even born and they're still doing the same thing today that need to change we talk about a lot of changes that need to change certainly all right then thank you very much folks um, thank you sir yeah it has been a pleasure um all the folks who have been commenting um ooh, a lot of nick i, I trust that you and rudian will go and read some of the comments when um, we finish here i will probably find the time but i thought it was very yeah. engaging and um nick i hope once you're available and you know anytime bro <laughs> please please do thanks very much i appreciate it all right you're welcome all right all right yes all right, all right. All right. All right Michael. okay then so folks that's um yes that's it from those guys, as you heard there. Quite a lot, indeed. I appreciate you folks for being part of the action, okay? <laughs> yeah, it has been quite a pleasure having you discussing all the issues relating to sports. Ooh, two hours plus, almost two and a half hours. It was an engaging discussion. Um, it also shows the power of sports, right? When it comes to sports, in fact, these days, more Grenadians are engaged in talking sports than probably politics. And um, I think we need to find a way how we can use sports as, as a vehicle to keep, continue uniting. And I say, not just to unite, but to continue uniting our people through sports. Thank you very much, folks. It has been a pleasure. Join me next week, Scott Swilling from Grand Forks in the North Dakota, where we have another program. Until then, I want to wish you a pleasant day.